Hello and welcome to another episode of Ivy Played. I say another episode, but it has been a pretty long time since we've done one. During Mythic Mischief, I did not have time to play nearly as many games as I would like. So when Robert, my friend, reached out and said, hey, let's play Weather Machine on Ivy Played, I was like, heck yes. So without further ado, thank you, Robert, and welcome, Physics. Thanks for being here, y'all. You're welcome. Hi, this is a perfect game to jump into after I haven't played in a while. <laughs> yeah. It's so it's easy like... breezy. I could have played Mega Pulse. Maybe I should have done Mega Pulse this week and Weather Machine next week. But yeah, no, what are you going to do? Uh, no, I am excited to play this. I watched the Before You Play. I love Monique and Naveen. Um, and they gave a great teach on just, um, you know, the, the very basic mechanics. And then I got to learn a little bit more by watching the rest of the game. Um, I probably should have watched the end, though, because I think I'm still a little hazy on scoring. Um, so I'm going to look like I'm doing great for the first half of the game and then just completely fall apart for the second half of the game. Um, but if you don't know what Weather Machine is, it is currently on Kickstarter right now. And if you don't know, it is a, a Vital Lacerda. Is it Vital, uh, Robert? You would know probably better than me. I think the, so yeah, like the play? English pronunciation. I think the, the Portuguese would be like Vital or something, but Vital, people say, like say Vital, yeah. Yep, so he's the game designer and then art by O'Toole. So uh, two huge names uh, in board gaming coming together for this. And it's Eagle Griffin, or just Eagle Games, excuse me, not Eagle Griffin. I think it's just Eagle oh. Games, right? Uh, I think they go by either, yeah. I think they do go by either. Um, so really, really cool uh, to get to play it. Um, I'm very glad they did a TTS mod. Let's show this thing off. Um, it's a it's a nice mod. The board itself is just really beautiful. So um, definitely uh, got some really interesting stuff on here. Some cool artwork. Yeah, there's lots of like little hidden bits. Like if mm -hmm. you look at some point on your board, I don't remember where it is anymore, but on some tiles somewhere, like it shows people playing a game <laughs> and they're playing like on Mars. Oh, I don't remember where it is. But maybe we'll yeah, find it. Just lots of little fun, like greebles is what I would call it. If you're mm -hmm. into Legos or anything like that, or making cool Star Wars panels in your house. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you got the professor himself here. It's really neat. Really, really yeah. cool art overall. Uh, Robert, will you take us away and kind of explain the game and I'll kind of follow along with the camera as we go? Cool. Let's do it. Okay. So the, the general idea is that there's this professor named Professor Latif. And he's been working on a weather machine in his lab. So this huge thing you see over here, the central sort of piece, is the lab. And he's running a bunch of different experiments here. He'll be doing that throughout the game as well for all trying to create different types of weather, like rain, uh, wind, sun, fog, snow. And he's doing this. I think you know. I think the the theme is like for for a good cause. You know, maybe you know the government needs like rain somewhere to help them out. You know, grow crops mm -hmm. or something. I don't know. Um, but there are adverse effects. Um, that make the weather worse and worse. So if you look way over here on the right side, there are these tiles that kind of show how bad that type of weather has gotten. So as he runs, like, for example, the sun part of the machine more and more, it's going to get worse uh, and worse Yikes. and harder and harder to, to <laughs> deal with it. But he's hired us as his assistants. I was going to say, this doesn't look too bad. There's like a fox here. They look happy. I'm sure it'll it get worse like that for long. Yeah. Time. <laughs> It'll get worse. Yeah. Um, so he's hired us to uh, help him out, not only in running his experiments over here in the lab, but also to help him out uh, fixing all the bad wa weather that we're causing sort of collectively. Um, and throughout the game, uh, we're going to be taking actions in three main locations. So if you look on the board, it's sort of split up into three, three big parts. There's the government way over here on the left. The middle we talked about is the lab. And then over here to the right is R&D. And then there's a fourth location called supply, which is way down here where we start to get supplies. But the action happens on those top three spots. So we're going to go around in turn order, taking turns until a game end trigger is met. Um, and there's four different ones. And I'll talk about them as they come up. But this is going to be as brief as we can make it, like uh, under 10 minutes, just so people watching can follow along and have some idea of what's going on. So on your turn, you're simply going to move your scientist, which is this guy right here, it's in your color, to a different location. Every location on the board, uh, I'm excluding supply when I say every location right now, has three different spots. And you move them to any open spot in that location. And then you get, to, you get to take an action in that location. And then the next person will do that. They can go to any, any open spot. We keep going around and around like this. Once everybody has taken one turn, as in moved once and done some action, 
Then we're going to check to see if the weather machine runs. So that's sort of like the second phase of a round. After we take turns, we see if the machine runs. Um, Latif has an assistant out here that's going to be jump in between the different branches of the weather machine. So he starts off on wind, but then he'll go to sun, then fog as the game progresses. And throughout the game, we're going to be able to put robots onto these spots here. And if a branch is full of robots and the bot, his assistant is there, and that kind of weather is up here um, in the queue, sort of. So if, if uh, fog was up here in the queue, which it isn't, but later on in the game, it'll be there, then that branch will run. And this is a great way to get points. You'll basically get research for doing this, and it'll put you towards writing a paper, which is one of the main goals of the game is to write papers on different branches of weather. And then after we've run the weather machine, there may or may not be income. You'll see that this, this professor is going to be moving around the board. And whenever he ends up in this spot over here, which is, I think, his office, then we get to collect income. So to actually do stuff at locations, you have to use vouchers. So let's take a look at Austin's board over here. There are five different types of vouchers, and they all respond. They all correspond to the locations, and then there's a wild voucher. So there's the supply vouchers, which are the boxes, the government vouchers, which are the top hat people, lab vouchers, R&D vouchers, and science vouchers. These are the wild vouchers, although they do have other uses as well. And so whenever you go to a location, you're going to need to spend vouchers of that location or science to do actions. So if you take a look, for example, at the government location, these two rightmost spots show a little symbol with a or, like this slash, while the leftmost uh, spot has an ampersand. And so if you go to the spot with the and symbol, you get to take both actions, provided you can pay for them. Otherwise, you can only take one of the two actions. But before taking actions, the first step of going somewhere is to actually get vouchers. So if you look in the government location, there's pictures of lab vouchers. In the lab, there's pictures of R&D vouchers. And in R&D, there's pictures of government vouchers. So whenever you go to a spot, it kind of gives you the vouchers for the next spot over. So if I were to put my guy there, I would get a lab voucher before taking my turn here in the government location. But that's not all. For every person to your left, for every other scientist to your left, you get an extra one of those. So in this case, if I came here, I would get two lab vouchers. And I would just move up two spots on my board. And then finally, if uh, Latib is at that spot and you move into it, then instead of collecting, for example, a lab voucher here, I would get a science voucher instead. That's what this little reminder here is telling you. So it's always good to go to where Latif is. And then he's going to move over to the next spot. So this is how Latif is going to move around, is when we enter a space with him, he says, hello, goodbye, has on over to the next spot. So I'm going to quickly run through what all the six actions you can take are, and then we'll just start. Um, and I'll do a very like general uh, overview of what these things are. Oh, my camera's off. Fixed. OK. Um, so at the government, you can do two things. You can either sell a part or you can secure a subsidy. Those are these two actions. And generally, the way the actions are set up is that the action on the left costs you one voucher of that type. So this is saying spend one government voucher to do this action. And the action on the right costs two of that type. So this is saying spend two government vouchers. Additionally, all the actions on the left reference the funding track. Every single location has a funding track above it. And they also, uh, you have to place a bot. So all the left actions make you place a bot to do stuff. And bots are like another resource we have. We have to put them on things. So the leftmost action lets you put a bot on one of these spaces. If you pay what's called a machine part, that's what these cogs are. We all start off with a random one. So for example, I might put my bot here, pay the green part, and then you get to take a subsidy tile in the column. And these are one-time use abilities that you get to use later at the start of your turn. OK, that's what that does. On the right side, you can, instead of taking uh, the tile you want, you can just, without even placing a bot, you can just flip a tile and do its ability and also pick up extra vouchers based on what's to the left and to the top of that subsidy tile. And once you flip one, it can't be used by someone else again, right? It can be correct. bought and used, but it can never be flipped with the right action. Yep, correct, yeah. That's the government. Um, so you could do extra actions and also help build up this machine. And one of the government triggers is, or one of the end game triggers, sorry, is if every single spot here is filled up. So all uh, 15 of these spots are filled up with bots. Oh boy. 
And this kind of represents the government's own machine because whenever a branch of the machine is filled, the government is going to give out points to people who are there, three points per bot you have, and also help fix the bad weather of that type. So the government's also helping out. Good job. All right. Man. Now we move on to the it's lab. Game. I know it's not. <laughs> and in the lab, um, I'm going to talk just about the leftmost action first because the rightmost action doesn't make sense yet. But the leftmost action helps you contribute to the experiment. So this is where Latif you know, really cares about. It's what he really wants to do. His assistant's going to be moving around. And with the leftmost action, you can put one of your bots that you have in your supply onto uh, one of the spots. And the spot depicts a gear, but don't focus on that. Focus on the chemical, which are these little cylindrical things. You pay the chemical, put your bot there, and now you've contributed to that experiment. You're hoping that you can time it just right so that the assistant is there when that type of weather is in the queue to run. That's your goal. You want to time it so that your guy is there, the assistant is there, this tile is in the queue. Uh, the leftmost action over here in R&D um, allows you to help uh, build a, a prototype, which you can't actually run until you do the rightmost action, but it helps you do some research in this kind of weather. So this is all for the sake of fixing the bad weather that we're causing by running the machine in the lab. So this is very similar. You can put a bot on a spot by paying the chemical to the left of it. So I'd put a green chemical on that spot. Um, and it would be locked up there, which you'll see makes the price of green chemicals permanently more expensive. Mm -hmm. um, and then every single spot has a reward on it, so you also get a little benefit for helping humanity that's, out. That's a bot. That's a tile, right? That is a tile, yeah. It's a workshop tile. Yep. Um, and sometimes you'll need to pay an extra cost. The entire bottom row has extra costs. You have to pay on the right either a wild machine part or a wild chemical. Mm -hmm. But the reward is to get a bot, which is a very powerful reward, as you will soon see. Right. OK, now let's talk about the rightmost actions on these two spaces. Um, whenever you do stuff with bots, you take a research token. And you're going to want to get multiple research tokens of the same type, because these research tokens come on your board. Your board's got three columns uh, to put research tokens on. And whenever you help out the government, you get a government research token. And you get to put it on one of those blue spots. And then you're hoping to help out the lab, so you get a lab research token of the same type and put it in that same row. And in fact, this row, as soon as you've put down a single weather type, it can only hold research of that weather type, which means you also want one of these in that row. Once you have this pre prerequisite, you can then publish a paper, which is the right action uh, in the lab. Um, it scores you quite a few amount of points. Um, and I'm not going to go into detail, but it gives you points based on what kind of research you have, and it unlocks a bunch of rewards for you, um, and potentially more points. Yeah. So the first person to actually write a paper in every single type is going to get to unlock this, and then they can be cited later, which makes writing papers of that type easier. But that'll happen later in the game, so if we need to talk about it then, we will. Great. Once you've got a paper written, you can then try to take the rightmost action in R&D, which is to make a breakthrough. So this is using all the knowledge you've gathered from writing that paper to make a breakthrough in one of the weather types, which is going to ultimately help uh, bring down the effects of that weather. Mm -hmm. So this is saying you need to have a paper completed, and then you're going to take your little marker and you're going to put it on one of the bonuses. So if I want to do a breakthrough in helping out uh, the damage from wind, mm -hmm. then I can choose to run this branch of the machine. Best and this fog. branch, oh, fog, thank you. They look Yeast. the same. I always mix them up. Um, if so, if you want to, they're like slightly <laughs> different, <laughs> but it's true. Uh, if I want to help out with fog, then I need to have a white machine part, two white machine parts actually, and a blue machine part. But throughout the game, by using the leftmost action, players will have put their bots here, um, and these bots can count as that. So, for example, if Austin's got one there and I've got two over there, um, then I actually don't have to supply anything. Me and Austin have got it covered. If I wanted to, I could supply the parts on top of it, but Austin and I are going to get points for for having bots here um, and yep. helping out this weather get better. And it's then you take an award five tile. Two. Uh, points per bot? Yeah. It is two points per bot. Okay. All right. right uh, there. Yep. <laughs> and then you get this cool award tile, um, which can be used kind of as a wild research that you can drop into any row you want. Um, and the first person to get three of these 
takes the Nobel Prize, and that's one of the other end game triggers. Yep. I think we all know who that'll be. Physics. Yep. It has been my lifelong dream. <laughs> Okay, that is a very super duper mega rough overview. Did I miss anything that we should tell the people? No, but I'm missing a bot. Oh, they're everywhere. Um, yeah, there's two bots in the lab. There, there we is. go. Yep. I'm still missing um, one. And then. Didn't flip anything. I can always copy Does paste. Does the assistant this. need yes. to move? Uh, the assistant, yep, should be there. Does turn we're order matter? Back. And we're getting rid of red, right? Red's, red's dead. Yeah, red's dead. This is the truth. I'll let you delete boom. it. Boom, boom. Oh, I found my bot. Okay. Oh, I'm just used to IV games okay. mods, which automatically do all that work. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. You're the best. Um. All right. So I feel pretty good about playing. Um. Human. I was asking human for help, and he said he's lost. So apparently, it, you do need to have watched the before you play game or some other tutorial a little bit then also have the 10 minute tutorial from uh from robert but you know it's good uh, a lot of people wrote rooting for um physics unfortunately not a lot of people rooting for us uh, i mean it's in the name so. you can't you can't help it it's written yeah, in the stars yeah, yeah. it is yeah. it's true all right so uh that means that you are first and that's suspicious considering that you set this game up however i actually am happy with you going first because you've played this game once before correct uh three times before three to mercy would you do that? look at you <laughs> it was an accident i don't know how it happened i just started playing okay so the very first round of the game is different because we basically have to take an action in the supply location yeah um and this is kind of like you know in some games they just give you like take two chemicals and a cog and whatever in a bot in this game you get to sort of choose how you're gonna you're gonna set up your supply at the start uh, so I will go first, and we each start off with the exact same number of vouchers for science and uh, sorry for supply and two science, which you can use here because science is wild. Um, I will take my turn, and while you're thinking about yours, I recommend getting at least two bots, if not three. Just a friendly tip. Okay, I will go ahead and pay one supply voucher to take a warehouse tile. That's right here. Boom. And then this refills. And then I'll go ahead and pay one supply to take a blue chemical. The first two rows of chemical or two columns of chemicals cost a single supply voucher, but then they get more and more expensive. Boom. And then I will spend one to take a bot. I'll take a bot off of this row, which will immediately give me a government voucher. Boom. And then I will spend another one for a bot, which will immediately give me an R&D voucher. Cruising. Um, and I think I'll spend a science to get a third bot, which gives me a lab voucher. Okay, that was me. So now it goes to Austin for his supply. I'm going to spend one supply to grab this token. And I can rotate it, right? Or no? Yep, you can rotate it, yeah. Future. Um, and that fills the white um, chemical there. and gives me another bot space. Um, and then I'm going to buy a bot. And yeah, I'm going to do this one. Cool. So this and space can always hold a bot. Um, just FYI, there. if you want to use it. Um, and I'm going to buy another bot. Um, and this also gave me a research. Sorry. Yep, a lab voucher. Lab just voucher. To get terminology. Lab voucher oh, also, uh, and Austin, a government voucher. Can you clean that? Speaking of research, can you clean that wind research off your office? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I was actually just hoping you wouldn't notice. Cheater, cheater, I mean, pumpkin I've, eater. I figured, but I was like, wait a minute. Um, I'll spend my last one to get a, I'm guessing, poison? I think I know what these are called. Oh, well, you just corrected names. me on the other terminology. I thought you might. It's true. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> People just call these white chemicals. That's all white I White chemicals. All right. Um, okay. And then, uh, not to mimic you, but kind of should just oh this is two on this side mm. yeah the rewards are tastier 
and it can't be I can only use this one as wild, the far right one, science, right? Uh, you have you have these things called executive exchanges up here. Right. So if you don't have science and you want to do something, then you can spend any three vouchers to get like a temporary science that you have to immediately use. Right. Um, but yeah, if I you have buy, science, you have to use it. Can I buy? How do I get more of the gears? That is a great question. Uh, you can't buy them. You got to find them. There's okay. various bonuses littered around the place. So, for example, this bot right here will give you a gear of your choice. Okay. Mm. Um, so, wherever you see that symbol, that's how you get gears, yeah. Uh, these experiments also are pretty good at gear production. Mm -hmm. um, but that's one of the keys that I have learned watching the playthroughs of this game is that gears are annoyingly challenging to acquire. All right. I have done basically the same turn as uh, Robert, so I'm embarrassed. But All right. Uh, a good turn is a good turn. Um, so, where does that leave me? Uh, what do we got? I got... That's white, right? So, that is white and red. That's what I had. Wow. We're going to go for the same stuff. I went for white if you want to go for red. Oh, I mean, I'm not, like, trying to mimic you. I just actually have a plan. Oh, I'm sorry, Austin. I'm so sorry. I am sassy by default, and so I'll try and be kind. <laughs> hey, I'm uh, also sassy by default. You're good. Human says... Austin changing the rules again, not cheating at all. Um, okay, Robert literally put those on my board. How does that make me a cheater? So I'm going to spend one supply voucher, not to interrupt the argument with human, which is always the best kind of <laughs> argument, but I am going to spend one uh, supply voucher to grab this tile, this workshop tile, because I feel like I need a bigger workshop. Um, I'm going to spend one supply to grab a red chemical, because it's pretty and has a fire on it. It does. Um, and then, oh, I need bots. Oof, I'm going to send one supply to grab a lab bot. Well, the bot that gives me a lab voucher, to be more specific. Uh, and then I'm going to spend one supply to grab a government bot, or rather the bot that provides me government voucher, because I do like me a government voucher. Um, whoa, what's next? Uh, I'm out of supply vouchers already. Yep, um, I know it went real fast. I know, but I'm digging. I want what do we got left in the chemical bin? There we go. <laughs> I need to to turn this camera a tiny bit so I can see better what's missing. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna go for a salmon colored slash pink slash peach chemical. So I'll spend a science voucher to grab that peach chemical and put it in my any chemical storage. Which begs the question, if uh, by default I have an any chemical storage, why is the rest of the workshop so finicky about what chemicals yeah, you can store? it's true. Mm. Because of mechanics. Oh, mechanics. All but right. Not, but not physics. Here, All right. Uh, <laughs> here comes the interesting turn. Okay. So now that we're... Oh, by the way, physics, just so you know, you can spend a voucher to switch turn order. It's not an uncommon I'm, move if you're last to do that. Uh, I am familiar, but uh, I have I have a feeling that I'm going to get to do the things I want to do regardless. But thank you for the reminder. It is valid at the supply location. You can rearrange turn order. You know what? Actually, you reminded me, and I realized anything. that no one is going to change turn order for a while. So I will... Oh, oh, no, nope, I'm not. I re nope. Okay, cool. You can, back. you can go first. You can go first. I need my science vouchers. They come in handy later. Alrighty. So in the very first round, there's another rule, and then we just start playing the game, you know, vanilla. So the rule is, if you enter a spot that is empty, you must go to the middle spot. This is kind of like a balancer, because then the people after you enter an order will get an extra voucher. Mm -hmm. And also, you cannot enter the red leftmost spot, right. um, which is also kind of a balancer. Alright, um, so I will go to the government, and I will take the leftmost action of selling them apart. So I need to spend one. Oh, first I'm going to get a lab voucher. Go up on that track. And then I've got to spend a government voucher since the leftmost action costs one. Mm -hmm. I've got a single part to sell. It is white. So I get to pick between either of these two branches. They both take white parts. Um, and why I would want to take one over the other is because of the subsidy tile I want. Um, I think I'm going to take this one. So I will put my bot here sell the white part to the government, and I replace it with the subsidy I just took. That goes to the left side of my board, and now I can spend this at the start of my turn uh, to take that action. 
Um, but two things I forgot to do is one, move up the track. Moved up the track. We don't have this color. Let me get rid of this color and all the tracks. And then the final step of this action is to get research in that weather type. So I take a government research, goes on my board. At the end of my turn, which is right now, I get to place it on the board. So I'll do that. And that's my turn. All right. Um, I cannot sell things twice. Can I get a gear? Yup. All right, here we go. I'm going to, of course, follow you and get that nice little bonus. So I'm going to go up on the government track up here with you. And then I'm going to gain two research go up to four. Then lab I'm... vouchers. Thank you, lab vouchers, of course. <clears throat> if there wasn't something in the game called research, I wouldn't be a stickler for it. But it's I am fine with you being a stickler, deal. sir. Please stickle. Um, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to take that. Oh, I can't burn this now. I almost want to do the second action. Could I? Can I? You haven't spent your vouchers yet, so you have two if you want to take it, yeah? No, I don't have... I do have a place to put it. No, you wouldn't, because this bot wouldn't go on the board. It would be there. Because um, the second action doesn't require a bot, so you would not have space to put it. Right. All right, so my plan was to get that. It wasn't going to work anyway because I was going to take this action twice, but it doesn't work. There's no way to do it. I'm a fool. Okay, just learning. I'm learning, guys. Everyone's having fun. All right, um, I am going to... It's just so long until the assistant gets to this. Assistant gets to what? This Rain. on here. Uh, that doesn't matter too much. It does a little bit if I want to get this next turn when you go for it. That's true, yeah. So I will take this. Okay. And I'm going to spend my government thing. And I'm going to take this. Um, do I want any of these bonuses now? Yeah, I'll go ahead and take two of those. All right. Um, didn't do anything else, did you? Me? No, that was it. That's the turn. Yeah, you went through all the what steps. I can do, right? Except for I have to put my cog on there. Whatever it's yeah. Called. Yep. My part, I believe. Gosh darn it, y'all! Ruining care my about turn order now. That's what I thought. Told okay. You. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was going to play nice, but I guess I don't have to play nice. Uh, you can't um, play nice in Play machine. nice with me. You took my sun research. You were all like, I'm just going to summon my machine part and take the sun research. I didn't even um, know you wanted it. Of course I want the sun research. I want for the same reason you want it. It's going to run next turn. But it's not going to run next turn because I'm not putting a bot there. So y'all can just wait. Um, <laughs> on my turn, I'm going to go to the lab. Wait, this uh, is, you moved the professor Lateef. himself. I moved a... Latif. Sorry. Okay. That ruined that whole like moment. Um, I will go to the lab. Mm -hmm. uh, I will gain an R and D voucher. Oh god, this is actually kind of annoying. Uh, R and D voucher goes. If up you one. want, you can move your board over here in between us. We can move. There's a lot of moving parts, so this is fine. Um, okay. uh, and then I will take the left action because, of course, I don't have I don't have any research yet. Um, so I will spend one lab voucher uh, and then I will go up on the lab funding track and I'm yellow. So I'll mm -hmm. go right there. Then next is I will take a bot out of my supply. So like this dude. Yeah. Uh, and I will place him on this space spending a red chemical putting that back in the supply where the supply go right there it is red chemical uh and that is my turn all right so now that we've all gone we check to see if the machine runs which it does not because uh there aren't there isn't a uh 
a wind up here, and also the, they aren't oh. full. Yeah, it's not full. So he's just going to move on over. And then phase C is to adjust turn order if anybody changed it, but nobody did, and collect in income if Latif is in his office, but he is not. So we go back to the top. All right, Austin, I've got a question. Hit me. Is there any way you could supply either of these suns? Because I can do two of them. Um, I have a white, not a red, unfortunately. If, if you take this executive exchange, you can spend any two vouchers to swap that white into a pink in the moment you use it, or into whatever color you need. Mm, I'm just asking, if I went and I did two, would you do the third one? You'd get more points than me. Because you'd, true, get, but... you'd get how many points per? Uh, uh, five per. Five per. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, physics should just join in and get five points and get the oh, sun thing. I would have, but the sun research doesn't help me. And I'm it will later. Through. Yeah, it could It later. won't later. There's only two sun research in government, and you both took it. Yeah, uh, but chances are one of us is going to fill up our suns, and then it'll be open to sighting. So you can still use it to. I know. I'm aware favorite. I can cite all of you, but I prefer being a fire starter, not following in your footsteps. So, um, all right, I'm gonna go yeah, there because cool. I think it's you're gonna owe me. But yeah, I think I can do it. Okay. Is this a negotiation game? <laughs> it is. Every game is a negotiation game. game. <laughs> 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 all right, I'm going there, and I'm getting R and D. I would take two R and D vouchers, but I am maxed, so I only take one. Um, and then I will take the leftmost. Oh, uh, quick little rewind. At the start of my turn, I'm going to flip my um, my subsidy tile to do this action. This has to be at the start. Yep. Flipping it, its ability is I get to put a bot there without paying the chemical. So right. I'll put a bot there. Okay, and I carry out the action as normal, so I do still go up on the funding. And then on my actual turn, I'm moving over, getting my R&D, spending a single lab, and following these steps. First, I move up on the track. Second, I put out a bot and spend a chemical. Bot there, blue chemical spent. And that is it. All right. Um, I cannot go to another spot on the place that I am. I have to leave, correct? You have to leave, correct, yeah. Um, did you take an extra thing for being here? And did you move up up here? You did, okay. Yeah. Um. Being part of the experiment also will give you two machine parts or an investment tile. So it's pretty worth it. Yep. Um, I'm only taking one of these actions because this one won't help me because I don't have a row of three, correct? Correct, yeah. Accurate. Okay, I'm sending. What is this again? Lab. Lab. Voucher. What? Voucher. Voucher. Right, yeah. so I'm going down one, and I'm going up up here to yellow. I'm putting a robody doody up here, and I have to spend any two to convert this into a beige pinky one, right? Correct. Yeah. So I put this back. Wow, Jim, you got him to spend three vouchers so you could get five more points than him. It's uh, worth it. Trust it can me. be any two. It doesn't have to be two the it same. It can be any two, yeah. yeah. And don't forget you take an R&D when you go there. Thank you. Uh, and that would be my turn. Cool. Um, okay, so on my turn... Let's see here. Oh, my board's up here. I do. Sweet. So I'm going to move my... Uh, I have cool. I move my scientist to this spot, to the furthest right spot in the government section. And I'm going to run the second action, which is get a subsidy, if I think or secure a subsidy. How did you forget? Secure a subsidy. I'm sorry. I didn't I only read the rule book three times. So um <laughs> uh, I'm gonna run secure a subsidy. So first things first, I'm gonna get a lab voucher. 
Yep. Uh, then I'm going to spend two government vouchers. Uh, then I'm going to select a uh, tile or a yeah uh, a voucher. No subsidy. subsidy. Goodness sakes. <laughs> Um, sorry, there's a whole vocabulary. Uh, there is indeed, yeah. There's a multi-page player aid, just for the record. For everyone everyone who's watching, there's a multi-page player aid. It's not That's insignificant. True. So I'm going to take this subsidy. I'm going to flip it. So because I took this subsidy, I'm going to get this bonus and this bonus, which is two science vouchers. Bland. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to be able to run the research action uh, without paying the chemical or vouchers. So that is this action over here yep uh and so i don't have to put the chemical or vouchers but i do move up one on the r d track correct r d funding track yes uh and then i'm gonna place my robots on we'll say this tile okay you get the effect i get the effect oh and we pull uh, this container from the supply and put it here. Yes, yeah. Uh, and I get the effect, which is go up on any track, right? Correct. Right, correctly. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to go up on the government track because I feel behind there. Uh, you know, actually, is that true? No, I'm not. I'm going to go up on the lab track, the lab funding. That one? Perfect. Look at me. All right. Uh, nope, this one. Cool. Cool. What is okay? I'm sorry. What is this number four thing? Oh, that is the reward. Gotcha. And then lastly, I take this research. I'm gonna grab this research token uh, and place it where to go, right here. And then I'm gonna turn around and put it someplace more useful, like it's got to be on the furthest column tier, oh, right? Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Ooh, in that case. Oh, there's so many good ones on this one. I like that one. So I'm going to grab two supply vouchers. Two. Thank you, mouse. That's my turn. Cool. Okay. Now we check if the machine runs yet again. And we meet all three criteria. There is a sun in the queue, which is where the assistant is. And it's filled up with bots. So this is running. So for either Austin or I to get any rewards, the rewards include the points, the cogs, and the research we each have to pay a science. So that's what that symbol said. And we must pay a science to get these rewards. So I will pay a science. Are you paying one, Austin? Mm -hmm. Cool. So then Austin and I go to 10, uh, not to 10 points. You go to 10, I think. It's like stuck. There we go. Yes. Yep. Cool. Okay. Um, and then we get our bots back. Okay. Oops. There we go. All right, and then we get a pick uh, from the rewards and the research token. So sun research to each of us. And then the reward. The options are two cogs of your choice or an investment tile. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with two cogs of my choice. I will take a green cog and also a blue cog. No, yes, no, two green cogs. No, a blue cog. It Sorry, okay. Here, hmm, I'm gonna get a red cog. Oh, interesting. What do I... Hmm. Yes. Yes. Hmm. More red. I feel so mean. Like, I'm just looking at this board trying to figure out what to do next. And all I can think of is, like, all, the, all of my machinations are so unkind. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's academia stuff out there. True enough. Something I do really enjoy about this game is 
the elements that really relate to like the functioning of academia yeah so we're all attempting to do research uh, have you guys both finished your reaction yep. to the machine running sweet yep. what's next uh this guy goes off these guys slide in the assistant moves over and then we go top of the round but you had a little story Sure. No, I just want to make sure that we moved it all our business. I don't want to slow yep. the game down with my yep. weird stories. Things like doing all your own research to write new papers, to have breakthroughs. Like it's very thematic. Um, citations are thematic. The use of awards to like circumvent research is annoyingly thematic. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, it's great. Uh, okay. So top of the round again. I when go first. Me? Uh, right now, because I'm about to move there. So whenever he moves to his location, he moves. So mm -hmm. supply works slightly different. It doesn't have like the same three action slots. Instead, in supply, the first thing is you get one um, voucher of your choice. I will take a science. And then you have to pay one voucher per person to your left. Yeah. Um, and since Lativ was here, I get another science voucher. And he's going to move on over to the leftmost space of the next area. Right. Okay, doke. So now I've got vouchers to spend in supply. I will definitely grab a blue chemical for one. Another warehouse tile. Uh, this guy. For another one. And then I've got two science to spend here. I should probably get another bot. Yeah, I'll spend two science to get this bot, which gives me a science back. Okay. That is my turn. Oops. There's no way for me to really gain a chemical without going uh, back to the supply or these things, right? Um, there are over here in R&D some slots that grab right. chemicals. But yeah, I was hoping to go to R&D, and so I don't think I don't think there's a good option for me to do it. Uh, I mean, there's like there's a workaround. Like if you went to government and got this subsidy, which lets you place a bot at R&D without spending the chemical. Yeah, I don't have then those color cogs. Okay, well then never mind. Well, you can swap cogs out too. Um, yeah, yeah. But oh, you can you have a subsidy that gives you a cog of your choice. Oh, you don't have space. I don't have space. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't there be a second one of those, or did someone already take it? Physics has it. Uh, or he flipped it. it. He flipped, flipped it. Yeah. So there's something there's something to be said about that is valuable about flipping them before they're purchased. Yeah. Because you do get a bunch of vouchers. Like I got two science vouchers. Yeah. But if you have the space to run it, if you just take the second action here, I don't have get I don't have the government uh, vouchers. Government vouchers. Or the science vouchers. Or the Goodness. science. And I don't want to give him points by going here. So I think I'm just going to take one. Uh, You're give me points uh, from going here. I lose. Sorry, I lose a you're, something. I lose a voucher. voucher. You get so a voucher. You're basically, a voucher. Yeah. yeah, you're at net zero vouchers, but you can exchange like an R and D voucher for a science voucher. Yep. All right. So I'm going to. Ooh, I forgot uh, to put down a bot. Sorry. Whenever Latif moves, he puts down a bot. Um, so I should have done that. Okay. I'm gonna go can, here. I'm gonna yeah. get two science vouchers. What is it? Is it science? No, you're getting you're getting one science voucher and one uh, lab voucher. Oh, uh, one lab. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. And, and then, then he moves. I'm and when he moves, he puts a bot out. Put a bot. I am dumb. I took the wrong chemical. Oh my goodness. Shoot. God, you made my turn so much more interesting, Austin. You're welcome. Put it here. Take one of these. Put it up here. I lose my government voucher. 
and then I have to trade in a cog. I'm gonna take this bad boy. All right. I think that's my turn. Oh, nope, I didn't go up up here. And did you spend the government voucher? Yeah. Hey, neither did you, uh, physics. One? I just moved you up to one up here. Oh. Um. No, I shouldn't have. Why? You're right here. Why oh, you took the right, you did action. the right action. I'm yeah. sorry. Yep. It's all making sense. Yep. Okay, so is it my turn? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's where we have some funny business. Uh, first off, order of operations. Um, so if I were to go here into the lab, yeah. right? So first things first is I get both an R&D voucher and a science voucher. Correct. Before anything else happens. Correct. And I can't take an executive exchange to change a chemical, for example, until I need to use a chemical. Correct. Right? Correct. All of them, you can't do it until you need to use that thing you're getting. Interesting. Okay. So let me evaluate for a moment. Oh, God. This game has too many permutations. It's killing me. Um, <laughs> Uh, or can I avoid that problem? Hmm. No. Thinking. I need that voucher first. If I go there, then I get that. Not voucher. Research. Oh, goodness. Awesome. You're already breaking me. Um, My bad. It's fine. Uh, okay. So... Does not. All right. So here's my plan. I'm going to take. Which one's my dude? This is my dude. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go uh, here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to gain my. What's it called? A uh, lab voucher. No. no R&D voucher. R&D voucher. Gotcha. Because it is the lab. I'm going to gain my R&D voucher. I cannot gain a science voucher because my science is maxed out. Then. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to gain a little. A Bobot buddy under rain. Um, then, oh, valid point self. Regardless, um, I'm going to take this action. Okay. So I'm going to go up one on the lab track, on the lab funding track. <sighs> no, I'm not. I, I take that back. I absolutely 100% take that back. All that changes. I don't everything's, have any robots. Everything's back? Oh, you have no robots. Oh, okay. I have no robots. I can't Everything do is back. Oh, off. no. He's going here. I, do off. I have to? Do I have to go there? Yes, because you're already at the government, right? Um, which is the only right action that you can do right now. All the other left actions cost a robot. Hmm. Unless you have a no. subsidy or something, no. I don't have a subsidy yet, so I can't suddenly generate a robot. My evil plan did not work out. It's fine. It's fine. Um, oh, man, the amount I don't want to go to supply right now. I like, really <laughs> not speak entire words to you as to how much i don't want to go to supply right now but i have I to there's no other feeling. option yeah so i'm going to gain a, a voucher of any type which is going to be right of any type yep. i'm gain a supply voucher uh i'm going to pay an r d voucher uh because you're sitting there and you're in and i'm waiting in line behind you obviously um uh i'm going to let's see here so many things. Um, first and foremost, I'm going to spend a supply voucher and I'm going to change turn order. So I'm going to put myself in first. Hey, and now. I You're can't meet you. Why the only thing I'm a, last? The only thing I'm... Okay, welcome to my life, all right? Um, <laughs> you can tell that I'm intense because I'm getting closer to my camera. But, uh, but so why not Robert, who's played three times in last? No, no, no. Um, he can't move have, us. He moves himself. Yeah, I kind of uh, change the order between y'all. So, uh, so I'll do that. 
Uh, I will also get a robot because I guess they're important or something. Um, so I'll spend a supply voucher and get a robot and I get my R&D voucher back. Look, not a big deal. Um, and then I will spend a supply voucher and a lab voucher. I'm sorry, and a science voucher to grab this robot and then uh, gain a supply voucher. Uh, for the record, this is called the assembly line up here. Uh, it is, it's, it's cute. This, the assembly line is where the robots come from. Um, and then I'm going to take a red chemical because I have one more supply voucher and there's absolutely no reason to leave supply vouchers hanging. Um, and I think that is my turn. Thank you. And that was cool. the last turn of the round, right? That was, yeah. Um, so now we check if the machine runs while there is a fog, fog, uh, up here. There, it's not filled, so it does not run. So this guy just goes out of the game. And this bot goes away. He moves down. Slide and shuffle. And then uh, there's no phase. Oh, no, there is a phase scene. Now you swap turn order. So this is the real turn order here. We swap it. Um, and don't we also turn? don't we also um, uh, create a new weather effect because the experiment ran? Oh, we or totally forgot one. that, didn't we? Um, sun ran, yes, thank you. So when sun ran, we should have put this token up because the sun weather is getting worse. Um, so anyway, now, we've also done that for the one we just discarded, the wind. You know, oh, I'm sorry, run. fog. I did it. it didn't run, so we don't do it. Okay. Unless I'm crazy. But I'm pretty sure if it doesn't run, you don't do it. Y'all, it's starting to click. Is it my turn? It's starting to click. Way uh, earlier than it did for me. Yeah, it's your turn. Cool. All right. So now, actually, you know what? I get to do whatever the hell I want. So all is good. Um, and I have room for a sign. This is like better. This is like the best possible. Like, anyway. So I'm going to go here. No, I'm going to go here. Yeah. Uh, gain my R. I can't gain an R&D voucher. I'm so sad. Um, gain a science voucher, which I like better anyway. Um, Larry moves. We get the bots. Um, I'm then going to run this action. So first things first, I move up this track. Uh, then I'm going to take one of my robots and place it here. I need to spend a green chemical. Don't have a green chemical. So instead, I'm going to spend two other uh, vouchers. There we go. To turn my uh, red chemical. No, wait. Do I want red? Yeah. Red chemical into a green chemical. Oop. Yep. Wait, never mind. The green chemical stays there, so it's. Oh no! What it doesn't done? matter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, regardless, there's been two vouchers to be able to exchange my chemicals. Um, that all happens. That's the end of my turn. Cool. I'm gonna go there, grab an R and D voucher, which I can't grab. Whatever. And then I'm gonna spend a lab voucher to bump this buddy out, put my buddy in. Uh, blue chemical. No, you know I already took this one, don't you, Robert? What do you mean? I took this. Yeah? I just don't think you're going to fill up ice. No, it's not true. There's awards and citations. It's. I think I think you should take research whenever you can. I don't know. All right. All right. Um, and I forgot to move up the track, but that is my turn. Okay. I'm going to need help with this turn. Yeah. All right. Subsidy first. No? Oh, guys. I'm so mad. Uh-oh. He's in the spot I need. He's not. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. There's no way that could work. Oh, no. There is a way that could work. No, there is no the way cogs. that could work. I have the cog. I can see uh, it. No, no, no. But to, to do this, you need to have a paper published. Uh, and you publish right, a paper right, here. Right. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, that changes my plan. I guess I'm going for this one. All right. Flip this. Um, and I am getting a, I guess, white. No, that's the bottom one. I don't want white. Uh, those give me cogs. I don't really need those. Oh, this is harder now. Fudge. That's only for activating it, right? Yeah, it's a, you have to spend an extra pink if you want to do a breakthrough. Okay, I'm going to take a green. Doesn't really matter. Take a green. Then I'm going 
here, and it kind of helps me because now I get a science. And we're all going to get income at the end of the round. Which is nice. Um, and then I'm going to take my robot buddy and put him there and here. And then I get a cog thing of yep. any type, right? Any type. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure every time you get a cog, it's in any type. I don't think I've ever seen a specific color. Mm, yeah. That would be weird, honestly. Yeah. Blue. And then I get the sun token, correct? Correct. And I get a robot? No. This, you move across when you publish when a paper. This. That's this right. action. Okay. I can just do that now. It's not, it's not that easy. Yeah. All right. Um, um, did you spend and gain your vouchers? I have not. Thank you very much. And I get a thing, and I go up here. Did you get your science voucher for going where La, La Tive was? I did. I did. Okay, I was cool. at one. I'm up to two. But thank you. Mm -hmm. Very nice of you to remind me. Um, man, I thought I had a monster turn where I was going to get to do both sides, but you forget, yeah, you got to do this first. Yeah, it'll happen yeah. at the start, but then you'll start, you know, not forgetting those things, and then it feels better. But yeah. there's a lot. There's a lot of no, you can't do that because X. It's this like, was nice. I would have had to go to the supply without it. Yeah. Alrighty, machine is running. It's running snow. So we're running this guy, which means physics and I can spend a science to get our points and rewards. I am spending that science. Are you physics? I am also spending that science. Okay, I get five and you get 10 because you have two bots. And then we yep. take our bots back. Uh, let's give you 10. Boom. Okay, and then the rewards on here are two cogs or an investment. I will take the investment. Hashtag same. Hashtag <laughs> blank. And then uh, we get uh, snow. No, it snows worse. And it snows worse, yes. Oh boy. And you get a snow research, beautiful. Okay, and then we can drop this on our boards. Am I ever gonna go to supply again? Maybe, I don't know. Oh, probably not, I don't know. Let's just do it, okay. Um, And then this goes away. We move them on in. And the bot moves over to rain. So now notice that we've, we're seeing our first level twos. These require more science to get the rewards. Oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah. But you get three points instead of five. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are higher. Like, this is a six, but yeah. Yeah. This is only two. Well, I think but the, the level one is, is a two on this. So, like, if you look here, these are both level ones, right? But this is worth five points, and you get two machine parts. And this one's worth two points, but you get a free action. Ooh. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, not a free action, but an additional action. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right, then we do income. So every single bot you've released from the top two sections of your assembly line, you get that reward with the little green arrow. Vouchers. Or I guess it could be a cog as well. All righty. Science. Uh, lab. Government. Not supply. Okay. And then it is physics's turn. Cool. Well, I'm right here. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to put this robot right here and get a machine part, which I'll take blue. I like blue. Blue is a pretty color. Uh, and I will spend my peach token, my peach chemical token, excuse, there we go. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, let me make sure I do this right. So first things first, I gain my government voucher. I don't want to forget my steps. Yep. Um, and then I will spend my R&D voucher. Boom. Yep. Cool. And then I go up on this funding track. Yep. Uh, then I spend my robot uh, and my chemical. And I gain my reward, which is a machine part, which I already got. And then I gain this little cute research token, which will go right there. Um, oh, 
Nope, you are totally correct. It goes right there until the end of my turn. I had a um, little correct. Yay! Look at you. Um, no one reminded me that I needed to uh, check my investment token first. Thank y'all. But it's fine. I didn't have any. I didn't have a thing I was gonna do with it anyway. So we're good. Um, regardless, yes, it goes there. And then at the end of my turn, I will place it. It's pink. He's gonna go right there. This will move up one. Uh, dun 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 dun. I think that is all. Cool. Alrighty. Um. I will do this so i'm doing both actions so i'll do the uh do i care about order that's the real question i don't think so i don't think so uh actually hold up first i have to spend my investment tile so i'll spend my investment tile to put uh this on the board oh boy what am i putting on the board Should the retroactive right what? They're retroactive. What do you mean? If oh. I score, if I put this on my board after I already have one. It oh, no. Later. Those yeah, are these only yeah, get checked at the end game. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, also, importantly, that goal you just pointed towards, I think, mm -hmm. uh, that one, is you have to have three award tokens? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because the big three. three. Yeah. Uh, what's happening? Oh yeah, okay, I'm putting this here, which gives me a chemical of choice. I will go ahead and grab a green. Where did that thing go? Found it, okay. No, I didn't, found it. There we go, green chemical, beautiful. All right, now for my actual turn, I'm moving here to do both actions. First, I will do the uh, leftmost action, which is to sell apart, spending one. Gonna put out a bot here to sell a green. Um, and I must replace it with this. Okay. Boom. Um, I, the reward for this would be a research here, but there isn't one. So I get the investment token instead, uh, investment token. And I also should have gotten a lab voucher. Okay. And now since the entire branch is filled, um, the government is gonna go ahead and run this branch of their machine. So anybody who's got bots here gets three points per bot, which is three for Austin, six for me. And then they're gonna go ahead and take one of these markers and put it on sun, the leftmost space. So they're helping us out um, to make sun better. Once this space is filled as well by anybody, then this tile will go off and it'll be easier to do prototypes with the sun. I'm sorry, okay. why did it cover a reward? Uh, it just puts this on the leftmost space. So, okay. And then how does it make it easier? Because as soon as there's a second one here, then this goes off. It doesn't make it easier for us. It just makes it easier to get rid of this tile. Right, right, right. Okay, and then I'm doing the rightmost action here by spending two. So one science, one government. Actually, actually I'll spend a science. No, I have to spend the government, yeah. One science, one government. Okay. Um, to flip a subsidy tile. I will go ahead and flip this guy here, which is to put a thing in neuter. So I'll do that. Two labs. Um, and then I get to do this action. So I will go ahead and move up here again. Put a bot out onto this spot. Hey, Kevin. Kevin says, nice to see you guys playing. Hey, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Oh, Kevin played with me yesterday, I think. Nice. It was good fun. Not yesterday, two days ago. Anyways, um, that is my turn. Yeah. All right. I think I have to have a boring turn because I just need ish. Um, so I am going here. Oh, wait. Is it my turn? It is. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Turn order change. Yes. All right. Uh, so I get a science, and then he goes to your spot? No, he just takes the left most available. Okay. And you also get any of your choice because you're in supply. Right. I'm going to take supply, I think, just because I need it. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to spend two supply to get this robot here, 
and then that gives me another supply. Um, and then I think I need a, I want a new slot, but I don't think I can afford it. So I'm just going to buy a. All, all the machine, all the uh, laboratory spaces only cost one supply. Yeah, yeah, but I only have one and I need to buy a chemical. chemical. Gotcha. Um, let me think about the chemical I want. Can only. Here. I'm going to spend a science to change the turn order. Uh, and then, do I pay a chemical to move into these spaces, right? Yeah, I pay a chemical to move into those spaces. I'm going to take the, oh, the green's too expensive. Frack! You're the one who did that. I did do it. <laughs> well, you don't win by sitting on points. That's not a saying. Uh, it is not. But I got to do it. Okay. I think that is my... I do need another robot. Well, I'd have to spend way too much to get it i'd have to spend three of stuff to get it well if you got the science robot it would sort of get you one back so that'd be one two three and then i would get one back by taking that okay you'd get a science back by taking that that's what i did that's, that's a lab. lab oh never mind great then so I you should, should be at one science yep yep it's all good Alrighty, so now we check if the machine runs. There is rain out, but it's not filled, so rain goes away. These guys slide on over. The bot says goodbye, and the assistant moves on. And then it is Austin from the top. Bet you don't know what spot I'm going to. Um, no idea. It's this one. And I spend a lab voucher and i get a this voucher r d voucher R &D. i'm getting the lingo i'm getting it <laughs> mm -hmm. uh and then i'm gonna spend this bad boy and go here oh guys i'm so dumb hmm. i wanted to run both of these on this turn but you... i used all of my lab well you still could if you used the three for one exchange on science but then you wouldn't be able to cash in on the rewards points, of the, the uh, points when it runs. Yeah. And it would also open this up. I'm the only one who could do it, right? Do what? Run this. Uh, right now? Well, not until you publish the paper, but once you do, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But no one else can publish a paper on the topic. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So. They can after you do. Oh, before you. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, shoot. Well, oh, there's sorry. there's a slot. Like if once the uh, once the uh, third whatever this is called R and D slot is filled, it also unlocks it. Um, right. So, yeah. Definitely not my best turn. I should have taken things from other places. I did could just, have. Did you just take this? I don't take it. All right. It went no, quick it run. run. Yeah. Yep. Um, did you go up on the track? I did not. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. What on earth? Run. Oh, it's physics. I forgot I'm last. Yeah. Oh, we should have changed this. No. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Um, all right. Well, easy peasy. Um, what? Where are my buttons? Perfect. God, everything is so wonderful for me right now. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to get uh, two lab vouchers and a science voucher. This is correct. For going right there. Uh, okay, he moves uh, at a robot, right? Yep, I added a robot to the next branch since this one was filled. Sweet, cool. 
All right, then I get to sell a machine. I'm going to do this action, um, run the government machine. So I'm going to spend one government voucher and then go up on the government funding track, finally. Uh, uh, then I'm going to place a robot uh, right here, selling a blue machine part for probably this subsidy. Seems yeah. pretty good. Uh, oh, no, this machine part goes right here. Excuse mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I said that wrong. Um, got the subsidy. Oh, and then I take the snow research. Bam. That's my turn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yikes. Well, um, all right. So at the start, I can sell a part without having to use the part. So I'll do that. I'll sell a part to the government. Actually, this is the worst idea I've had. I'm not doing that. Um, I need this bot. Okay. Uh, I should probably do it now instead of later, right? Um, yeah. Okay, Kevin, the current score is Chim has 21, I have 10, and Austin has 8. Okay. I'm going to come over here. Um, grab a science. And then uh, I will spend two to well, pick Derek, up. Thanks for joining. This guy. I'm quiet so because quiet. I am learning and I'm not doing well. <laughs> okay. We are like basically tied. I I just, I just, there was a big missed opportunity last turn because I messed up. Okay, sure. But, and this is important. Chim does not yet have three research in a single topic yet, so he's going to have to patiently wait for one of us to publish a paper where he can cite her. Or he can just go to R&D and run the sun machine and be like, I don't care, Austin. I'll just take this sun, yeah. unlock the sun anyway. That's what I was thinking, you know? Um, yeah, actually, I'm going to take this guy instead, so I will not have this, and I'll just get a white cog. Okay. Um, and then I will spend my science for a blue machine part. No, I won't. That's a bad idea. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I'm not spending my science. Oh, hold on to it. That is... It feels like... Oh, oh, I know what I'm spending my science for. I'm switching turn order. Okay. How dare you? Where is this really? thing? <laughs> All right. Are we back to where we started? That's great. Yeah, uh, right. make sure to switch it on the initiative track as well. Oh, thank you. Good call. Oh, actually, it doesn't super duper matter, but yeah, because um, I'm last, but that's a good call. Okay. That is that. Um, that is my turn. So now we do the old uh, machine run. Uh, machine does run. Austin and I can pay a science to cash in on those rewards. I will pay one, two, three vouchers. And then we get two points and also the option to do that action again. But we do need um, a chemical. It's not like without a chemical. Yeah, I don't have a chemical. Yeah, I'm going to take the investment anyways, I think. And then two points. Did you get your two, Austin? I have not yet. There you go. Thank you, sir. Um, we get our box back. Yeah, we get it back. Yeah. That goes out. And then we make that weather worse. That was the uh, wind. Did you take the token? Uh, I did not. Thank you. Boom. These guys slide on over. All sorry, right. Kevin, I don't understand your question. What do you mean by that? Uh, Kevin's asking about uh, counterclockwise order when reorganizing turn order. Uh, I think what you mean, uh, the only token you can change in the initiative order is yours so you can't otherwise rearrange turn order yeah you can put yourself anywhere you want in turn order um but yeah you can only touch your own token and then everybody else stays relative to how they were uh all right that was that then we go to switch turn order boom now we go to the top of the next round um okay so I will go ahead and spend an investment token 
to put one of my things up. I will put up. Uh, what am I scoring, man? No, it's not happening. Come on. Okay. Um, well, maybe it is. It's not too late to pivot. I'll try that. I'll put this up here and I will grab um, a pink chemical. Okay. Um, and then on my turn, I will come over here. I will get a government and I will spend a R&D, move up on the track, and then I will place a bot here. I have to pay a white. Oh my God, sorry, I meant to have taken a white. I just took this, I'm gonna take a white instead. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna spend the white and also the green. Um, and the reward is a bot, so I will go ahead and take I'll go ahead. Oh, I did this so whatever. Too late. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Shoot. All right. Well, I'm taking this guy then. And that gives me a supply. Okie dokes. And then I get the reward, which is an investment tile. And we unlock this to be cited. And if I wanted, I could spend a science to get three points. Don't think I'm going to. Um, but it is regardless unlocked. Okay. And yeah, it's my turn. So wishing I had one more gov supply. I don't have any chemicals, so I either need to go home and buy stuff or uh Kevin's asking if you wanted a bot from the bottom left. I cannot. I don't meet the requirements. I don't have five on my, um, I don't have five uh, tokens or six bots yet. Yeah. Hmm. Can't do anything here because I don't have the chemicals. Can't go here. If I go here, I won't get any chemicals, which means I can't go to either of these places. So I really just need chemicals. You have an investment tile? You could put one on your board. Um, to get the chemical reward. If you... Oh. Forgot about that. Yeah. yeah there, there's almost always a better answer than go back to supply. So try to find it if you can. Okay. Um, so I trade this in, right? Like I yeah, you just put it? it back in a supply and then you got to put one of these tokens which will lock in that scoring condition for you onto um, either space. I hid my scoring condition. So I got to... Oh, I just took a screenshot instead of... Opening it back up. Okay. I have 12 tokens. I have at least 12 tokens in Rose Beer Office. I have the most or joint most bots. These five different types of tokens in the Lab Conley Office. Hmm. Workshop is over here, right? Yeah. So it's saying at the end of the game, have three cogs left in your workshop. Right. Are these all like one bot in four different government branches? Ooh, I could do that one. All right, so it has to go in the blue. Yep. All right, so I'm going to take a chemical. Is it wild? I can just take any of them. Anyone you want, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to run both of these. Can I? No, I don't have the paper. Dang it. The paper's been published, has it? In the sun. Hmm. Okay, walk me through this. I can't run this track. Yes, you cannot until you do this thing. I could have run this. Tr I could run this track again. The left no. side? The no, you can't run that sun machine. You cannot build a prototype and have a breakthrough on the sun weather event until you publish a paper on it. Right, Correct. and I can't publish. Okay, cool, cool. I understand. Yep. Um, importantly, there are tiles like this subsidy tile that allow you to publish papers on it. And I almost feel like it's better to go here and then here because 
I'll uh like go here, here, here. Mm, this is dumb. Not the game, me. Um <laughs> yeah, like tell. finding finding that like specific sequence of events is the most interesting part of this game. So this is my first um Vita Lacerda game. Uh, uh Austin, please don't be distracted. I'm just trying to talk over you while you're evaluating. <laughs> I your forgot turn. to take I forgot to take the color that I needed, but I'm taking green. Sure. Um uh, anyway, this is my first uh Vita Lacerda game and it is it is a collection of very interesting pieces that once you get a grasp of at least some of them, I don't, I'm not going to go out and say that I have a grasp of all of them, but once you have a grasp of some of them, um, you can start to put them together and create these um, uh, interesting combinations of actions. Uh, I will say that watching Monique and Devine play this game, Monique, both of them, but I think Monique especially, had a really lovely few moments of some really powerful yeah. turns. Yeah, she crushed. <laughs> and then I take this. Yeah, I that think that's the appeal. The like that 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 statement you made I think can apply for all these games. <laughs> like that's like the core appeal of them for sure. All right. Sorry. Sorry it was a long turn. You're good. No, that's fine. A long turn is a good turn. All right. Um I'm out of water, but I'll survive. It is my turn, correct? <laughs> correct. Uh yeah. Sweet. All right, so what do I want to do on my turn? I need to go to the lab. I have to go to the lab. I can't imagine not going to the lab. So I'm going to go here. Uh, I'm going to gain... Oh, God. Gosh. Darn so it. Does he move I, right now? I know. He does move, yes. I'm, I am definitely going here. He definitely moves. Um, you have bots? You do. Hooray! So where does where is the oh. assistant? Yeah, right there. There we go. Um, do I, have, I don't have any chemicals. Oh wait, wait, wait. I'm so sorry. We're not going to undo that, but we are going to turn back time for a half second because um, I do have some tiles that I want to make sure I'm using effectively. So uh, I am yeah. going to use my subsidy tile. Oh, it just gets flipped. Right? Just flip it. Yeah, you can only use one of these, by the way, subsidy or investment. Well, I don't think I need uh, an investment tile right now, but the subsidy is well. In that case, I'll just I'll use the investment token instead. Um, and I will thank you. Um, shoot. Oh, these are backwards. That's why. Okay. All right, they're not in the right order. Um, I want this one. Uh, I'm going to place it here. Uh, and I'm going to get a supply voucher. Is that what I want? Oh. I I'm moving myself so. ahead on the track. I didn't move when I did this action. Okay. Sorry. I want to make sure I get that done before I moved on. All right, cool. And then I'm going to move, 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 move. That's all good. Then I get um, a science voucher and an R&D voucher. Um, I can't gain a science voucher, so I'm very sad. Uh, then I'm going to take the publish a paper action, because I think we have to do that at some point. Um, yeah, he's still there. Yep. Uh, so that means I need three research in one row, which I have. Yep. Uh, and then I slide my... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. First things first. Spend my two lab vouchers. Yep. Anyway, then I slide this token over. Get the reward. I get two machine parts. Um which I will take a pink. I like pink. It's a cute color. Pink salmon peachy color. And then I think I'm going to take a, a nice red pink. machine part. They're also really pretty. Um, this is how I'm deciding, obviously. Uh, <laughs> then, uh, uh, oh, I'm going to unlock the snow. So snow is unlocked. I'm going to pay my science voucher to gain three points. Thank you. So I'm at 13. Uh, and then... Oh, I get six points because I have three of my own research, so that's plus Correct. six points. Yep. Puts me at 19. Uh, and then I gain my investment token. Boom. Boom. Just like that. That's how you do it. Very nice. That's my turn. That's end of round. 
Okie dokies. Uh, weather machine does not run, but we get rid of this guy. Boom, boom. The clock is ticking. Uh, another game end trigger is once we put the last experiment into the queue, as in these these are both oh, empty. Um, then we play one more round, and that's the game. So we've got what at most uh, one, two, three, at most four rounds left. Oh boy. Alrighty. Um, top of the round. Uh, da, 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 da. What do we do? What do we do? I think we write a paper or do both if we can. Ooh, okay. Here's what I'm doing. I will go ahead and put. Hmm, I don't like that. I don't like that at all, actually. Do I have time to do that? Maybe. Okay. I will go ahead and put this guy up here to get a chemical. And I will take a... Did you spend um, your investment token yet? Oh, no. Thank you. Just trying to cheat. That's all. I got you. Um, you guys don't have chemicals, so the sun is not running. I don't really care about that. Um, but it's fine. I will go ahead and take a white chemical from the supply. Okay. And then on my turn, I'll move my guy over here. And I'm doing both actions, so I'll go ahead and just spend the three immediately. I'll do the leftmost action first. I'll move up on the track. And then I will put a bot down. So this guy's going down over here, and I'm paying the white right back. Okay, and then the rightmost action is to publish a paper. So I'll go ahead and grab a citation in Sun. So I take this tile, but to do this, I have to discard one of my gold tiles permanently from the game. And the one I discard is going to be a pink one because I'm substituting it into a pink uh, pink slot in that column. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this out of the game. And then I can actually write this paper. Now that I've cited moving this across, that gives me a bot. First one uh, with three tiles, last one with a paper. Look at this idiot. Me, not me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> like, wow, that was a little harsh. Okay. No, no, me. You didn't ever um, get three tiles or tokens. I think tokens. I'm taking this, which lets me put a bot out in the experiment zone without paying chemical. Okay. Um, and then I score my points. So I get four points. Physics got six, but citing it doesn't give you any points, which is Sorry, pretty thematic. I, I don't think you cheated, but can you tell me how this guy got here? Yes. So the reward for this paper was to get a bot. Mm -hmm. I took this bot. The reward ah, for that bot yes. is to do Makes that. Makes sense now. Um, okay. Uh, I got my four points, and then I take an investment, and that is my turn. All right. So I can buy from the bottom row now because I have more than five uh, tokens, correct? Five or more, yeah. Yep. Okay. Cool. So it's my turn? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going here. I'm going to spend a lab. I'm going to gain only one R&D because I don't have enough spots for it. Um, I'm going to use uh, actually both of my lab. Excuse me. I'm going to use the rightmost action. Um, and I am going to not use a citation. I'm going to slide on over and get a bot of any kind, I think. No, I can't take from this right hand yet. No. Um, and I don't want to use the left hand action because I can't. I don't have any chemicals. Oh, I should have moved up one more time when I did the free left hand action. Yep. So I am going to take a chemical and I'm going to take it in. Huh. This is interesting. I guess I'm going for this run here. <clears throat> Beige, white, or green. I'll take a green, it's the most expensive. No, I'll take a beige. Oh, that's the wrong spot. I got you. You're good. All right. And then I get 
the oh uh chim kevin has a Sounds question like for you do um, i get i'm sorry i don't get a gold thing right because what which one I, I get points because like sun's already unlocked and that's what I'm unlocking. I'm ready that is one. that is this thing. This other thing refers to this part of your board here. All right, so you I get, get six these points. points. You get six points. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then I get one of these investment tokens. Correct. No, uh, Jim, I just want to call out. Uh, Kevin has another question for you regarding: Is there more than one tile of of each goal in the game? Do you know? I, don't think so. I highly doubt it. I haven't looked at each for sure, but I'm pretty positive just from play that it does not exist. Cool. Wait, is it my turn now? But we're all having so much fun in the lab. <laughs> Hanging out. Oh, no, they're making fun of your light, Jim. That's fine. I'm going to be a big fan of this. <laughs> That's what good. Do I, what do I good do? I don't What's going on? Oh, man. Oh, man. So challenging, so many options, so little time. Okay, so first things first. Uh, I'm going to uh, spend my investment token uh, to move, let's see here, one of these bad boys. Girl, I, these are all awful. Um, oh, I'm not gonna get any of these, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to go here. I'm going to grab a red chemical. I'm going to achieve none of my goals, and I'm going to dramatically lose this game, in case anyone's wondering. Um, so th then I'm going to do that business. Then I'm going to move over here. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Not that one. Okay, Latif will move, but not that's what I'm moving. I'm going to move yep. here. Um, so I get a science voucher, and I get a government voucher. Oh, sexy government voucher. Um, Latif moves. We mo do the Latif movement bot business. We did it. It's done. Cool. I want to make sure that it happens. Great. Uh, as much as I would love to run the snow machine, I can't. So instead, I'm going to uh, put a bot in. So where's my bot? Here's my bot. I'm going to put my bot right sure. Spending this conveniently located red chemical I just got this morning. Um, right there. So... Let's do this. Make sure we do this in order. So first, we need to spend my R&D voucher. Got it. Then uh, I'm going to go up on the uh, funding track. Got yep. it. Bot is in place. Chemical is in place. I get my reward, which is go up on a funding track. Uh, I'm going to go up on the... Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to go up on uh the r d funding track okay boom and then i'm gonna grab a snow research is that right that is right that is correct yeah and now important question where the heck do i put the snow research token well right there obviously for right now but it is the end of my turn so now it drops into place and that is beyond the scope of uh my turn so cool beans yes sir Alrighty, uh, machine is not running yet again. That goes away. These guys slide on over. Bot is gone. Assistant moves forward. And now we do income. So get all of your unlocked stuff in the top two sections of the assembly line. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Man, I only got one of my left-handed things. Everything else is maxed. That's bad. Gotta spend, gotta spend Joe's vouchers. That's the truth. So research because I had to double up on that stupid turn. Hmm. I think it's gonna be the difference between me being in the running and not on this one. Okay, we're within three points of each other, Austin. I think we're both being outclassed. Uh, That's not know. true. We'll I have see. secret plans. Let's I don't see. have any plans. Yeah. All my plan all my plans have been have been cast. So now I'm if just I could have, flying by the If I had a way to get one more even in past this cog, I guess I can. Actually never mind, I take it back. There is a way for me to do things. Very nice. Okay. Top of the round yet again. I need to move Latif to his supply room. Cool. Alrighty. Um what are we doing here? Oops, what was that? That was me. I brushed my microphone. I apologize. <laughs> okay. Sound like there was an earthquake, but I guess it's a microphone brush. Okay. It's a very windy earthquake. Uh, 
I will, I think, go here. Man, I really wish I had a chem. Whoa, plans have changed. Okay, here's what I'm doing. I will spend the investment token to flip a tile instead of placing one. So I'm cashing in on my lab funding. Ooh. So all the tracks work a little bit differently. Um, the government track, when you cash in, you get every reward you're at and under. The R&D track, you pick a reward from your spot or under. And then the lab track, which is what I'm doing, is you get the science tokens in your space and under, not tokens, uh, vouchers. So mm -hmm. I get three science vouchers. Um, boop, boop, boop. And then you get to activate another track as though you're, in my instance, four spaces higher than you actually are. So I think I'm going to activate the government track as though I'm four spaces higher. So I'm going to go from here. So I'm going to get, I wish I got the bot, but it didn't work. I'm going to get the uh, up on a track. I will move up on this track. And then I get a chemical and a voucher of choice. I will take a lab voucher. And for the chemical, I will take, let's see. Um, yeah, I'll take a green chemical. Okay, dokes. And then on my turn, I'm going to move over here to get a government voucher. And I'm going to do the left action first. So I'm going to spend a R&D voucher to put a bot out here with a green chemical. And then I have to spend a cog of my choice. I will spend a blue cog. But that unlocks me another bot. And I will take... Uh, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I will take, yeah, I'll take this bot, which gives me a chemical, and I'll grab a blue chemical. Uh, Jacob, I believe you can exchange vouchers for a personal pan pizza, but <laughs> if you have read too many zoo books, it's basically like you're cheating. Mm. Also, if you get all A's, you can add Cinestix to that. So, in the lookout. All right, so is that and my I'm turn? so lost. No, wait. Uh, I got distracted. I was in the middle of the turn. What's happening? Okay, I'm being the left action. Everything's fine. Move oh, on yeah. this track. I put that thing there. I got the bot. I did the thing. I take a book. So I'm going to take a wind book. Boom. Okie dokes. And now I'm going to do the right action because I came to that spot. So I'm going to spend two R&D vouchers to do a breakthrough. So I'm going to do the breakthrough in uh, Sun. So I'm going to put this token here, which gives me the two points. Boom. Okay, dokes. So now i got to run this thing. So all the parts are provided besides the, the salmon part at the top. Mm -hmm. However, I can provide parts myself if I would like, um, even if they're already being provided. So I'll go okay. ahead and provide them, and they have to all be from the same row. So I'm providing a pink and a white part as well. So for every part I provide in every bot, I get two points. So I get six points, and then you guys each get two because you've got two bots there. Nice. Okay, dokes. Physics, I'm moving you up two points. Sweet. Thank you. I've barely touched my own point tracker. That's how you keep you in the back. Points, so. mm. All right. And then the next step is I get an award tile. These guys are like wilds. You can drop them wherever you like. Cool. And that is now my turn. All right. I am headed down here. I'm going to do both of these actions. So that's going to be all of my gov, but I get a lab voucher. Um, first, I'm going to place a borrow here. And I'm going to do that. Oh, sorry. I can only do one of these, including the investment token, on my turn. Correct. Any one child to the left. You can only do one. All right. So if you don't mind, I will add this and grab a blue. Oh, wait a second. I think I... Did you use an investment tile already? No, no, no. Next turn, oh, okay. I'm using an investment token. I know I need to, but I, cool. okay. I want to grab this while I can. Got it. Okay. Um. All right. So now I have to decide one of these to grab, and then I also complete my wind thing here. Nice. Um, and then, ah, uh, what do I want? Oh, I put this in the supply. Sorry, physics did that earlier too. 
pointed fingers now. This. Okay, so now I'm going to do hmm. this bad okay. boy. Oh. No. That's the one I'm activating. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Me excuse me. All right. Now I'm doing the second side of this um, to flip one. You paid your government vouchers, right? Yeah, I had three. Cool. All right. And you also get the vouchers there. It could be in any, any, like any one, by the way. Yeah, I know. I, I want to run this. Oh, I also didn't get my got it in here um I grabbed another blue right I did grab another blue oh thank you Kevin boom all right so I'm going to flip this get a lab voucher and a science and then I am doing this with do i have to trade in any i don't have to trade in any um of my r d vouchers right correct it is without vouchers and also without the chemical but you have to pay every other cost so like if you take a bottom spot for a bot you have to pay the extra if i take that from supply i almost took it from oh. your board <laughs> there's not even that would have been mean all right and Fair. now i get a free token which really doesn't matter what it is uh, actually, that was blue and white. Eh, sorry. Um, do I want to put it there? I already have that. I'm foolish. <laughs> okay. Taking it back. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was from that spot, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I want it on water. Uh, I put it here for free. You, no, you, you have, have to pay, pay this off. extra cost. Right. Cool. Which you yeah. can't afford if you really wanted to. No, I think I'm all right. I have a good one, right? Yeah. I'll get a chemical. Yeah. And I want... Facebook. Mm. Red. Sorry, long turn, and I'm stumbling through it. You're good. It's fine. I'm just letting my anger for you seethe as you stole my turn. <laughs> seethe. Uh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? That was you, yeah? Did you get the uh, these guys? That you've... I got that, yeah. Cool. Did you move on this track when you took that action? Not. Boom. Then I think you're good. Cool. Okay. So to begin my turn, I'm going to flip this and grab a robot. I'm going to grab this robot. Oh, Austin, you need to raise one on the... Oh, yeah, on the R&D track? Yeah, we did that. I did. We just did. Yep. Okay. Uh, all you. right. Yeah. I just pay attention to the comments, man. All right, uh, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna flip this subsidy tile. Then I'm going to, to grab this robot, which I can grab um, because I have five research, which means I can then run the uh, left lab action without paying a chemical. So I'll have this candy dandy robot. And I'm gonna place him right here. I just moved you up on the track, by the way. Thank you. Perfect. All is well. So that's the beginning of my turn. And then my turn proper. Well, I can't do double government, which was my hope. Um, my next turn might actually work out. Hooray! Love to hear it. Very nice. Thanks, everybody who's watching right now. Sorry, I'm going to talk during your turn physics um fine. i think we were like three quarters of the way through what do you think robert 
maybe even right? four fifths yeah maybe even four fifths oh math uh so <laughs> far i have been extremely quiet during games uh but this is a quiet game this is a i can't screw this up i can't screw this up oh no the other person screwed it up because they took the slot i was going to and yeah. I don't hate that. There's some people that won't like this. This is a fantastic little, I have to plan my turn out. And if it pays off, I'm going to be super happy type game. Um, the artwork's really fun. I like what physics was saying about how it actually does feel fairly thematic uh, of like what you're doing for sciencey stuff. Like obviously it's a Euro. It's not going to be that thematic, but it is fun. Like you do feel like you're doing things for a reason and the weather, the weather theme makes sense. So I'm, I'm really liking it. Yeah, I will say that this is like the least thematic of his games, which is, I think, pretty impressive. Yeah, that is impressive. It's it's not thematic, but like it's also not pasted on. Like it's absolutely okay. Um, So I think I'm going to go to this. Nope, I'm going to go to this base. Uh, I'm going to get my lab voucher. Um. I'm so full up on vouchers, man. Um, first so wanted to, this Well, I wanted to burn all my government vouchers, but somebody got there first. Uh, I know, it's fine. Um, and then uh, I'm going to do this side. So I'm going to spend one government voucher. Uh, and I'm going to go up on the government funding track. Uh, then I'm going to... I don't have any robots left. Subsidy. Oh, it's been used. Oh no! I just I just spent it over here. Oh, uh, you're not high oh. enough on the government track. No. Well, also I can't. I don't have an investment token to flip it anyway. Um, to flip one of those anyway. So instead of that, so I'm not gonna do that. I have to go to supply. There's no. I don't think there's a way around it. Um. Like legitimately, I don't think there's a way around it. Because I'm out of robots. I was like, oh, I'll sell one of my machine parts. I don't have any machine parts. Um, wait, and wait. Oh, I can't because it just came from R&D, so I can't run the snow machine. Yeah, I'm stuck. Man, I am stuck. Yeah. Because um, I can't do this. I don't have anything else to do. I don't have any robots here. Um, this is just for vouchers, and there's no vouchers I want. I'm pretty solidly full up on vouchers. Let me take this down one because I didn't get that one. All right. Um, so here, instead, uh, I get a free voucher. I'll grab a supply voucher because they seem useful while I'm in supply. Might as well maximize. Um, Lativ moves. We already moved Lativ. The bots go do the body bot business. So I think the bot goes on rain, or did you put the bot on snow? What are we talking about? Oh, he moved. Um, I did not put the bot out yet. It does go on rain. Yes, queen. Uh, all right. Then uh, I'm going to do my supply action. I have four supply and three science. Uh, yeah, it's a lot. Uh, I'm going to... It's going to be loaded. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. do my best. Um, okay, first things first. I'm going to spend one supply and change turn order because this going last business is for the birds. No. <laughs> I guess uh, you're a bird now, Austin. I'm the bird now. I really can't handle it. I'm so sorry, Austin. Uh, yeah, it's tough for this game. Turn order really, really, really matters. I mean, honestly, the fact that you took like I had, a, I had a double government turn like set up, and I just yeah. couldn't do it. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I say that, but game. I don't know if I could, I could admit it. Um, anyway, neither here nor there. Um, so that's first. I definitely want to buy a couple of these guys. I'm gonna take, I think, this one here for one supply token. And this moves immediately. Uh, and then I'm going to grab this one. One supply voucher. Look at that, Look at that workshop. I mean, Ooh, it's not... Yeah, I'm doing what I can. Um, then I need to spend two. I'm going to spend two to grab this uh, robot and gain a science voucher. Uh... And then I'm going to spend two science vouchers to grab this robot uh, and get a white machine part. Uh, and then, let's see here, that costs two, that costs one, that costs one. That's useful. 
then I think I'm going to hold on to my last science voucher and we'll call that uh, set up. Actually, correct me if I'm wrong, I can freely maneuver the things in my yes. workshop, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put the oop, no no you not it. the tiles but the, uh, the, bot, the yeah. stuff yeah put the bot there it. and the oop. I locked your I'm so helpful you're welcome um <laughs> meant to lock this not that there you go <laughs> thank you uh, yep. uh yeah that is my turn and that's the end of the round that is the end of the round so it is machine running time the machine does run we're running this it is me. And just me, I will spend two science to cash in on three points per bot. So that is six points. <laughs> Boom. And then I will take two cogs. Let me remember exactly what I needed. Uh, I need one of those. So I'll take uh, a green. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin, I, uh, I'm just responding to his question. Uh, I could not do that because what I really needed was another robot. And so... There wasn't a way effectively for me to get another robot after using my free action from my previous robot. So yeah, I kind of put myself in a little bit of a pickle because I really wanted to get that robot on the rain portion of the weather machine. Hmm. Dang it, I don't like any of this. What do I have? I'm going to have that. Um, I really wish that. there was a token reward for getting the most rows filled up i think it's there is dumb. there's not there's not uh for the most rows i have filled one up. i have one for three rows filled up and then one for what is this oh are these different in between players they're not the same oh yeah yeah they're all different between players. oh okay that makes me feel better i should have just known what i was going for based on what i drew i did not realize yeah he's put like at the like, start you can just give them out and then you're supposed to draft them like in reverse turn order or something they I all come in sets I was planning on just filling up as many of these as I was going for and then like getting a reward to help with that, but that doesn't doesn't help. I guess I'll take that. Okay. Um, that guy goes away. These guys move on down. Oh boy. You got two turns, including this one. Not the one we just took, but the one we're about to take. Mm -hmm. um that was that so these guys come back to me oh yikes i forgot about that shoot maybe i should have only taken one. Oh gosh darn. we're never gonna run the the no, rain weather. This guy. oh all the all the uh all the weather gets run at the very last round there's gonna be three in here and they all just get run left to right oh. so every weather we see will have a chance to be run oh that's useful thank you Um, and then we go to the round, which starts with physics now. Cool. Oh, we only have two more rounds. This one and the next one. Yeah. I'm not going to score this then. Four. Why? You only have to go there once to do this, right? Yeah, but I got to go here and here to score this. Is there a way to do this? Are you going here just to publish? Yeah. You can take this instead. Uh, That's a thing. He's already, he's already there. Yeah, let's do publish. Well, do it in different... Maybe you have to go here, right? So could you go there first? Well, I was going to publish that. Well, you could also go here and do the sun first and then come here and Get publish. That. Okay. But then I won't be able to run the sun. And the sun oh, is the wind. And the wind is the one I need to run. Got it. Yeah, I think I have to. I, th I absolutely think I have to. Okay, so I'm yellow. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to have a breakthrough. Let's see if I can do this correctly. Um, so I'm going to break through on snow. So, oh, we need yeah. to rearrange these slightly. So we need to move this here. Oh, I forgot to... Ay -ay -ay. Okay, there we go. Um, so I'm going to do my snow breakthrough. Uh, I have published on snow. Cool. And then I need to spend a science to a voucher, which I have. Yep. Uh, then I move this weather token to here for two points. Done. Thank you. Uh, then I get two points per cog. Okay, so I'm running along this row. So that is two points for white, 
uh, then I'm running my robot and my robot and then a red. So that's eight points, right? Yes. Let me see if we can help. So the the uh, this kind of sucks. The issue with this is that you have to use every part in this row. Yeah, I know. I'm, I knew I was going to lose the green part. Okay. I'm, but there's no other better place for me. To, well, I could have probably done it better, but I whatever. It doesn't matter. Cool. Also, for some reason, my cursor is stuck in like... Uh, hit the tab, uh, the top left hand fingers. What? Or F1. Thank you. Cool. Um, all right. So uh, I'm going to spend... So long story short, I get eight points. Am I correct? One, two, three, four. Yep, you're right. Okay, eight so points. This, I'll move my machine parts if you can move me up eight points. 31. Yep, done. I figured that was too many points to not do. I got all yeah. that. And then I get an award token. Yep. And then that is my turn. Yep. Okie dokie. Um, what you gonna okay. Do? I'm what? a little nervous. <laughs> ah, fudge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just hovering, but I think that's the play. I mean, not, looking at you your have, board, that's what I think I would do. I have two. This is gonna go there, and I've got. I mean, you scumbag! You're gonna beat me to this too, aren't you? Mm. I can't change the stinking turn order. Mm. I think unless I want to go to the government, is there anything here that's helpful if I go there and I can do that next turn? Well, sorry, at the start of my turn, I should have uh, I should have used something. So, oh, right. I remember what I was doing now. Okay, I'm using this guy to sell a part without having to spend the part. Um, yeah, I'm doing that. Um, and then I'm going to do this. Yeah, we're going to do that. Um, so I'm going to sell the part there. It has to be green. Okay. Um, that's good. Okay, now for my actual turn. Um, I need to move, and I think that's the place to go. Yeah. I'm going to come over here. Kevin's saying, Austin, if there's a robot that lets you use the government action, you could unlock a bot to get a blue published tile. Well, the problem is I'm already on the government right now. So. Yeah, I'm going to go there. Okay, so that's one. And then I go up on this guy. And I spend that thing. Great. And then I'm going to do two to do the rightmost action. So I'm going to move this on over, which is up two. And I am publishing here, so that means I'm the first person to publish this thing. So I'll spend a science for three points. Science spent, three points. Okay, and then I'm going to score points for that row, which is four I plus was, two plus two, which is eight. I was the first person with the sun row and the first person with the wind row, and I did not publish either of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, timing and like sequencing things right is like at least half the game. So uh, next time you'll do a lot well, better. I mean, the one was just because I spent too much in the store and I couldn't do this action. Got it. Um, and then I so get I'm investment. Just, I'm an old man full of regret. <laughs> All right, that is my turn. Also, I should note, besides every experiment running at game end, you also get to use all the investment tokens you've got left. Um, mm. so investment don't... tokens? Who has those? <laughs> um, what was I thinking? Oh, yeah. Uh, Austin, as I think an older man, uh, regrets are awful, so avoid them at all costs. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, okay, physics, did you go first this turn? Yeah, that was okay. Then we just didn't adjust this. Great, because I, I ran, I ran my, uh, I got my breakthrough. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand why mechanically they're two separate little subtracks. But um, it is sort of finicky to have to move both. Things. All right. So yeah, me going here this turn, I would only be able to run the sun. Correct. Going where? Sorry, I missed the ping. Uh, oh, here. Here. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, you could run the sun without any extra machine parts. You could run... Oh, no. Yeah, actually, you can only run sun because that's the only yeah. thing you have your token for. Yeah. Or I could go here, but then I wouldn't be able to place a guy here if I unlock this. Yeah, uh, you only get one action. Where's the assistant? Here, okay. Ooh, ooh, Austin, if you, if you use this thing to get a bot, you could take the bot that lets you put a thing down. You could take this bot, which lets uh, you yeah. put your bot out, and then you kind of get to do, to do both. Anyway. Okay, that's a good, good helper. All right, so I'm taking this bot. Um, well, I guess I have to do it now, right? Yeah, I have to do it now before you move. It's the first step of your turn, yeah. This will activate because of these. Yes, uh, the rightmost one will activate first. Oh, uh, the less good one? Fine, whatever. Yeah, it's always the rightmost, yeah. Um. I just want to put it on your board for some reason, Robert. I don't know why. You don't. You don't have to spend this. Um, oh right, because that is the ability of the thing. Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right. Now I'm moving here. Thank you for the help, Robert. Yeah, um, moving up the track too. By the way, I don't think we did that. Yeah. Thanks. Now I'm going to do the rightmost action, so I need to spend two, and I can't gain one in R and D. And then I'm going to publish a paper on the wind, and I get an investment token, and I get to move something up twice, which will be... Do I have to do the same thing up twice, or is it anything nope. up twice? Any, any two things, yeah. Uh, that. And then I uh, get points, do I? Right? Yeah, you get points, six points. Holy! When did you get down here? Oh, it goes this way. I thought it. Yeah. I thought it went this way. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be great. I wish. Oh my gosh, that'd be insane. He's uh, only significantly ahead of us, not ridiculously ahead of us. All right. So this and this are the same thing. Correct. The same, yeah. The same one. Okay. Just a reminder. Okay. I think it's my turn. Cool. End of the round. Machine is going to run. We're running this guy, so you two can participate for six points, and also a placement wait, on wait, the iron. We're, we're, that. we're oh. running this one. I didn't say anything. Uh, yeah. Do do do. Cool. Does a run? Who would have guessed? All right. Who would have thought that? Um, and this triggers the last round. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. It's my turn? I think so. Oh, my gosh. So, how do I make sure that I beat Austin? Or or do I do some sort of witchcraft and get within striking distance of Chim? Um, I don't think I can get within striking distance of Chim. That's a bit much. That's like 19 points. Um, oh, my gosh. You're 19 points ahead? Rude. Uh... Okay, I'm right there. I could do that and get a bunch of R&D, but I don't think I want to. I think I'm going to go here. Yeah. So let's do first things first. I get a science and a left. You don't get a science. You only get a Latif to the left of you. Oh, Still fine. moves though. But I do get a lab. Once, that's a, that's different now. Um, I'll check really fast, but you definitely get the lab, yeah. Yeah, it, it reads like he has to be to the left of me. Okay, then then we're good. If you read the multiple parentheticals, um, fine, I'll survive. The world is not over. Um, okay, so. Oh, I do have robots now. Sweet, convenient, useful. Um. Okay, so I think I'm going to take this action first and spend two government, one, two, uh, and I'm going to flip. You said something about being able to spend our investment tokens at the end. What does that mean? That means at the end of the game in turn order, you get to sp you get to use all of these guys to either put more, like to lock in more endgame goals or to flip them to cash in on the funding track rewards. Right. 
Okay. So you don't you don't lose out on the uses of these. Right. All right. I'm gonna publish. So I'm I'm flipping this one to publish. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm going to publish in. I can cite myself, but yeah, no, that's valid. Um, give me one moment to think about which one I want to publish in. So Robert, I should have saved my robot, I think. What happened? Why? Because I could have put one over here. Oh, wait, we're... Oh, I see. Yeah. And then ran this. I think the only way to get a robot would be here, and I'm not high up of this track to boost myself. I think so too. Well, do you have two chemicals? You do. Could you get either of these things and then run it? No. Well, I can't, I'm gonna I don't have the robot. So sorry. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna publish in snow again and I'm gonna cite my myself. Uh yep. So you gotta kill one of these three. Oh no. I've gotta kill one of these. Bye. <laughs> um, I'm not getting any of them. All right, like none of them are getting. I'm I'm bad. I'm bad at this game, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so I'm gonna run the publish action. So let's let's run through this real quick. I have all three. I move this thing over. So I get real quick. I get to run the lab action for free. So I'm gonna oh, grab that's great. this. Uh, I'm gonna put it here. Ash, nice, this is good. Yeah, I'm um, gonna move you up the track. Thing. Uh, yeah, move me up six for. Oh wait, this track. I'm sorry. Um, and then I get six points from your paper. Yeah. Yeah, for my paper. Cool. Um, uh, I don't unlock anything, but I do get an investment token, which is arguably the reason why I did that. Slash cool. also points. Slash also lots of reasons. <laughs> um, like it's really good. Like, come on, man. <laughs> uh, it was a good turn. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, how'd you get that's... that? I'm not once again learning, not questioning. <laughs> okay, so here's what happened. So I'm only halfway through my turn. I mm -hmm. went, I went here onto the government. Uh -huh. I did this action first. Uh -huh. So I went here and flipped and published uh -huh. and all the so publish actions. Yep, yep, yep. As part of the publish action, I went here, uh, and that let me do the lab action for free. Uh huh. I'm I'm tracking. I'm tracking. Yeah. And so then I have the other half of my turn, which is sell a machine part. Um, they also are I... saying you're supposed to gain a rain research token, but I don't think that's no true because it hasn't been run. Exactly. I'll get it when, it when it runs. Um, and then I need to sell a machine part um, of which I have salmon. Um, so we can sell a salmon or I can sell or I can use well, I can't do that one. Or I can do magic and get this one. Um, and of course by magic what I mean is uh, I can use an executive exchange to change my salmon machine part to a red machine part, which gives me an investment token, which moves me up. This is oh, that's two vouchers. Yeah, this is just so much better, and I'm not, I'm not going to be able to publish again. I don't think it would require sheer magic to publish again. So I'm going to spend two lab vouchers to exchange this salmon machine part. Or a red machine part taking this subsidy putting that red machine part there and i get an investment token if i recall correctly yeah since we're all emptied Ooh. and you got to put a bot there which is gonna give you and austin some points oh yeah i gotta put a bot here so austin gets three and physics gets six i didn't i forgot about those points man and then oh, this man, i'm getting crushed this goes, goes on the snow the, yeah right here. So that cleans so, up the snow. Yep. Girl. All right. <laughs> that, that, that was a turn. <laughs> that was a turn. Oof. I did get 12 points, so I didn't hit the 19 necessary, but I did get 12. But yeah, that so. was really, really close. Very nice. <sighs> Is that you? That's me. All right. I might have a turn. We'll see. So I'm going to flip this guy to sell to the government. Oh, there the turn is like just like immediately destroyed the turn. I just realized I have one bot. Wow. Son of a gun. Um then let me do some really fast math. You got this. Do the investment. Oh, but then you can't do the sell to the government. <laughs> um 
I want to go here and do both. So if I need to do this one right here, which is for this weather type, I got to have the blue and I'm going to executive swap it over. How much do the objectives score you? Um, Five thank each. you, Kevin. You're correct. I do need to move up the government track. Because I ran this action. I did sell a machine part. How much would running wind get me? Oh, I see. Okay, I'm doing this. I'm going to do this. Um, so my bot's going to go over here. I'm going to take this guy. Not that I can use it. Um, and now this thing is going to run. I get three points. Twice. Okay. Yeah, so Austin gets three points. I'm on six, 52 to 58. Did you get your three, Austin? I did. Okay, and then these guys put this guy here, which isn't a big deal. Okay. And then on my turn, I am going to move my guy over here. And I will just do the rightmost action. Oh no. Let me see. One, one, two, three. Oh, I can do it. Okay. I'm doing that. Um, so I can put this token out here. Okay. And that scores me two points. <sighs> And I've got to supply the blue and the red part. I've got a blue and a white. So I'm going to do an executive exchange for two and go to zero vouchers. Oh my gosh, he's zeroed out on his last turn. <laughs> I know. Oh, you dirty yeah, dog. I, I need my vouchers to get my weather machine points. Yeah, I know. I'm not going to be able to get my weather machine points. Ah, oh, this. Oof, you just did what I needed to do. Well, I made it easier for you now because um, this tile's yeah, going to go had up. Everything. Oh, got it. I had blue and red. Um, okay, and that's going to score me two points per thing. So you get two, Austin, and I get one, two. Six. How do I do math? Oh, yeah, I get six. Okay. Plus the two here, but I don't know if you took that already. I believe I did, yeah. Okay, so this goes off, right? That does go off, yeah. Oh, are you guys doing rain together? Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, you might not need to do a breakthrough, Austin, because the rain reward is a breakthrough. Don't know if that like Wait, if what? you take the you can do a breakthrough as the reward. What is that icon? That is the icon for breakthroughs. It's right here. Would you look at freaking that? Okay. Well, I guess I'm going back to the gov. I don't have any robots. Budge. <laughs> oh, I needed a robot in one more track. Uh, uh, yeah, there's no way to get a robot. Wait, no. It's You're here. Purple. One, and two, I'm three, purple, four. And I'm only two here. Yeah. Dang. There's not a way. So I might as Wait. well go. Well, I mean, publishing it doesn't really help me, right? It's worth a shit ton of points. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I apologize. It's no, worth fine. many points. Well, aren't we made we it do two hours. Um, it, we go left to right. In the very last round, we just go left to right. Okay. Um. Uh, no, also, there's, Jim, there's do we, no you path. Said, I shouldn't take a super long turn. There's no path to winning. You said that we get to... So I also didn't get to the end of any of the playthrough videos. Um, you said <laughs> that we get to use our investment tokens yeah. at the end of the game. Is that before Correct. or after we finish running all of the weather? Uh, after. So You're before kidding. we do final scoring, we get to use them. Okay. But the but we, but you, we, we run... So we... Austin takes his turn, then we yeah. run all the weather, then we do investment tokens? Correct. That... Alright. I'm scoring two points. And I'm using a blue and my purple dude, which is four more points, right? So that's six. One, yeah, and two, I get two, four, five, six. Okay. And then I get a yellow, right? Award token. Yeah. And that's it. Right? Oh my goodness. Sorry, I just realized I just I did something wrong. Um but yeah, yeah, that is it. We for take you. this off? No, that goes off when all three of them are filled. Are filled. Okay. Gosh, 
I if I could have done if I could do an investment token before they run their weather, I could maybe catch up to you. Oh my goodness, I'm so upset. I have an award that wants me to, or whatever, a goal that wants me to have the most or joint most here, and I was going to put the guy there or something, and I totally forgot about this plan. It's fine. We're okay. All right. That's your turn, Austin? Mm-hmm. All righty. So now we run all of the experiments left to right, starting with this one. So it costs you two signs to cash in on the rewards, four points per bot. That's, um, that's just you. I'm so bad at this game. My goodness. Okay. You get to score, though. I do not. I'm not having I don't any. have any. I don't have any yeah. vouchers. Um, I think physics is a chance of catching up to you, man. I think if so, I had, too. If I, had a, if I had a machine part, I would. But I don't have a machine part, so I just don't. All right. Now I run this rain. So seven points per bot. So, you, can get a machine, you can get a machine part right here. Uh, I can't get a machine part between now and when the breakthrough happens. Mm, right. So, because this is going to happen, I'm going to spend two science. Austin, are you spending two science? Uh, why? Why two? Is it two? Yeah, I'm yep, spending yeah, it's two. Uh, and I and get then, seven points, right? And I get One, fourteen. Two, three, four. Forty-three five, plus four. six. So at this point, I just want to round the board to get to fifty. You'll so do 40, it. You score points for the tracks too. Is forty-three plus fourteen is fifty-seven. Oof. Coming around the mountain. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we get to run a breakthrough or get an investment token. Um, would you like to do a breakthrough? I already did my breakthrough. Oh, I okay. could do another breakthrough. I could run the sun, couldn't I? You could. That would give us all points. <laughs> yeah, all, well, you would get more because you'd get the two extra. Uh, or I get an investment. And if I run an investment, I can get points with this, which is four, right? Oh, uh, yeah. No. No, no. If you oh, no, no. You get three. The bottom reward. Three. The bottom one. This okay. is end game points at the top. So I guess it's better to take an investment unless there's no use. Uh, it just in uh, ratio to y'all, it would be better for me to take. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh my gosh. This would. I'm so annoyed. I just need a red machine part, and I could run the snow machine, and I have a snow token. I just don't have my red machine part. Oof. Oh. I, I am the amount... I learn no words to how annoyed I am that I can't get to run the stupid machine one more time. Yeah. And then you guys take your bots back from rain, and that's the game. Um, so before we do final scoring, we get to do our investments, but just so you know what it is, you get your points based on the track position. You get five points per investment tile you fulfill. And then five points if you have the Nobel Prize itself. Okay, so question. Can we use our subsidies or just investments? Just investments. So your first physics, so you get to use all your investments. Okay. It can be simultaneous usually, but it might matter. It could matter. Well, I mean, I should just run this three times, right? And get nine points. Uh, uh, you run that by flipping a tile that's there. So you need to put a tile there and then flip it. So an investment token that? can be used to put a tile on there or to flip a tile there to cash in. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna spend an investment token here. I'll wait for my turn. <laughs> All right, I'll spend an investment token here, uh, and then uh, I get a machine part. I'm gonna just grab whatever's conveniently located. Yeah. Um. Uh, and then, nope, and this is the at least five bots in government branch, which I do not have. So I have none of the other ones. Did you gain the reward that you covered on the weather, Austin? This one? Yeah. Okay. I gained so, six from that. Uh, then I'm going to boom, use boom, boom. this token to run... Uh, the lab. Oh my gosh, I I will get this right. Lab funding track, right? Mm -hmm. So when I run the lab funding track, right here, I'm gonna get two science vouchers. Cute. Um, then I get to run another track at plus three, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna run this track at plus three. Plus three puts me. I can go up to here, so I get five points. Mm -hmm. Giving you the five points. Yeah. Boom. Uh, and then I'm going to run this one, which I'm going to flip this guy and get uh, three points in a machine part. I get two machine parts in that process. 
Yeah. And then that's all my investment tokens. Cool. So yeah, just take the two machine parts in case somebody so has a goal about them. Is this also them. flipped? Mm -hmm. I don't get to flip that. I don't get to flip this one. Oh, uh, you did this. Yeah. I'm good. Alrighty, I will spend one to put this thing here, which gives me a machine part. And then I've got one more. I'm not scoring those right. Nope, nope. Okay. Um, nope, nope. Okay, so I may as well flip something to cash in. So I'll spend one to flip. Oh, I'm horrible when I cash in, aren't I? Yikes. Yeah, I suck. Because um, I can only cash in either of these and neither gives me points. Oh, actually, this one it will. actually no, I'll cash in on this one. Up. One, two, three, four. I, five, I can't five. I can't cash in on this. Um, that's why I can only cash in on these. So uh, I'll cash in on this, which gives me a movement up any tracks. I'll move here for a point. Um, and then I'll get a chemical, whatever. And a science voucher, I guess. Okay, that was me. All right, so... I can score this, so I'm just going to start by placing that. You can score this? Yeah. No, it has to be oh. in this column. Oh, no. hold on. There is one that I think I can score, but I am apparently wrong. You have two of the joint or most award tokens. Everybody has one. Oh, so, so yeah, you can score that. Right, and it doesn't really matter if I get resources or chemicals right now. Uh, you would like to get these in case you can put this on the board, right? Because you need to have three on your board. Like, right, genius. All right, so I'm gonna do that. You have so many investment tokens, and I burn that. Yep. Then I'm going to place this here. And burn that and get another one. That's three. Then I can't, I have to place one and then flip it with another investment token, right? Like I Correct. can't just place it and flip it. Okay. Correct. So you've got to flip or place. So I need to just make sure I can't do anything. Can I have six covers? Nope, not that one. Most. You got this one. Joint most. Is everyone going to have three yeah. on the right? Three. Yeah, you and physics have got three on the right. So I'll take a chemical. Ta-da. All righty. Now we do end game scoring. So the first thing is we look up on the track. So let's start here with the government track. I get three. You guys each get one. Move Boop. physics up one. Austin, you went up. Yep. All right over here, I get four. Physics gets two. Austin gets one. Whoop. Physics gets two. Great. Okay, over here, physics gets five. Austin and I get four. One. Physics, 68 plus 573. Okay. And then we just score five points per investment tile you complete. Check. Tile you check. Complete. Just 10 points for me. Uh, how many empty bot spaces do you... Oh, you beat me. So you both beat me. So Have the most or join most. 15, right? Yep. Yep. I have at least three. 15? Yeah, I got 15. So I go up to... No, no, not him. I don't think. Wait, that's me. 60... I got ten points, so sixty-six. I didn't beat you. Physics didn't even get close. There you go. That is game. Oh, I was, I was like annoyingly close to you. Like, yeah. if I could have gotten this, if I could just run this machine, like I needed a machine part in that last turn. Oh yeah, and... you would have been tied almost, or uh, close to oh, more point. than that, because it would have been six points. Oh yeah, it would have been six points. Yeah, I mean, I messed up my last turn too. I had a, I lost out on like five points, I think, by Oof. going on the subsidy. Hey, so yeah, I at least am not stuck on the top of the board. I'm proud of myself. Also, we played in two hours and twenty four minutes with a little teach, so that's pretty good. Good, pretty good. game, everyone. Yeah, yeah good very game. good game. Um, uh, was, and I am into it. It was, uh, it was more than seven points, so it's everything's good. <laughs> Uh, Austin, uh, was this your first game of this game? It was. It was. What'd you think of it? Uh, I really enjoyed it. I I love games that when I play, I know I will play better the second time. And I know that sounds like most games, but there's some games where I'm like, 
I figured this game out already yeah, and like yeah. there's no challenge left and that's that sounds pretentious but there's just a lot of games that are very simple no, right definitely like, yeah like i don't think i will learn a new thing about sushi go ever like obviously that's a really simple game but like i knew everything there was to know about that game it's still fun because what other people take changes the game but i'm not learning anything new i will learn new things about this game for the, at least the next few times i play it and yeah. you know people watch this can be like did he really just compare this game to sushi go no uh yeah. But I, I don't know. I really like these types of games where you're just like trying to chain together actions. I watched Robert do it several times where he like really used these these things well. You went for a lot of these, Robert. That was yeah, actually all you had. Yeah. Uh, so you did a really great job of chaining those together and it showed me how valuable those were, which was fun. Um, yeah, I, I think it's a beast. It's huge. The component components wise, it's not really heavy. Uh, as far as like, yeah. from, like a manufacturing standpoint, but it's a beast of a game as far as like what's going on. Are you, um, when you say that it's not heavy from a component standpoint, you're, like you're talking about heavy from a components heavy. manufacturing standpoint. Yeah, I, mm. only the only way reason I pause is you're right. There's like no like minis really, but there are like what uh, five, six plus twelve. So, times four there's like just a bunch of meeples a bunch of those chemical tokens yeah but they're all they're all just like color and silk screen changes and mm. like from a manufacturing standpoint that's like a file and you tell them that paint swatch like it's it's just so yeah. much easier than a lot of other things and like the rest of it's punched cardboard yeah. um unless you um opt for the metal machine metal parts. which they're sweet so i mean i for opt it. for the metal machine parts because yeah. i had to no, I. This is my first Lacerda game, and I. And this is my first play of a Lacerda game. Um, did I do? Did I spend like five hours learning how to play this game? Absolutely. <laughs> was it Was it a lovely and wonderful time playing? Sure. Was yeah. I like thirsty for victory at one point? Like it, for uh, for a while, I was like, <laughs> I don't need to win. It's fine. But like at the end, I'm like, wait a minute. I, I'm like within striking distance. I you are get yeah. real close. Um, and if like things had worked out just a tiny bit better, um, no, it is a crunchy. It's both crunchy and chewy, and I realize that those are weird ways to, <laughs> to describe it. It's crunchy because it's mechanically intense, right? There's a lot of depth, a lot of things chained together, and like there's something chewy about um, in understanding the ways in which you can cascade actions, right? Mm -hmm. I, I sort of separate those two concepts. Um, so. Like I had one ludicrous turn where I functionally did four actions in one turn. Yeah. Right? yeah. Um. Uh, and like that was my honestly that was my goal. I want to have one just ridiculous turn and a couple really good ones and then one ridiculously just like I did everything on one turn turn. Yep. Um. So like and that's and that kind of and that I think is the hallmark of this game and from what I understand kind of like other Lacerda games in that it is you get these dominoes and you just want to make them all work like not only dominoes they are very much like cogs you yeah. just want to yeah. make them all work together just so um and so that makes me really excited because i also as part of this kickstarter um opted to get like the fancy edition of the gallerist which i have been staring at for like three years now wanting to play now here's so, a question did you pay an extra 90 dollars to get it shipped a month early i thought about it um, that's not true. I didn't even think about it. I, said, no. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't imagine spending that much money to get, to get it shipped early. Um, uh, cause uh, as I previously mentioned, um, there are a lot of Kickstarter games that I get and that I don't get on the table for, for a month. month. Yeah, precisely. So like to imagine paying it, to, like if I wasn't, if I, if it wasn't me, right. So I have a very large collection. I play a lot of different games. I don't play a lot of like the same game over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, so I'm a collector who also plays as opposed to like, I have a small collection of games. I really enjoy playing right, a lot of the right. same game. So it's different, right? I can understand someone who is like a Lacerda collector who only has like a handful of games and just play yeah. the same games over and over again. Cause these games are worth it for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, wanting that, like, no, I will play it like four times in that first month. I can, I can yep. see that happening. Yep. Robert, you managed to play it three times in the last week. Uh, this is the fourth yes. play. This is fourth play, yeah. How how did you even find those twelve hours? Number one, and <laughs> uh, I, I you don't have kids yet, but uh, man, how? What? I mean, I mean you obviously are enjoying it. 
But it's yeah, not it's the highest ranked Lucerta game. No, it's not. I think it's like number three or number four. This, this is also going to join you. I'm going to join you in sounding a little pretentious. Compared to the other ones, it's a little simple. Yeah. <laughs> Which I know sounds a little like crazy to say, yeah. but um, there's, there's, like, there's like four places, you know? And there, I mean, there's like really three places. There's yeah. like three things happening. They're all interconnected in a cool way. Um, but I think the other games have a bit more going on, and I think they're mm-hmm. they're just more thematic. Like I f- like when I'm playing on Mars, I feel like I'm you know like building a greenhouse on Mars. You're bringing so, on Mars to PAX, right? I should, I should, shouldn't I? It's, oh, it's so big. I know it's you're coming to PAX. Yeah, no, it's I mean, it's we big. Play. We can. I love it. I'll play it anytime. Yeah, I probably should. It's real oh, good. I, mean, I, I will have. What's the player count? Uh, two to four. So, well, I mean, we'll have like eight, eight core, like, vol- like full-time volunteers. And then I think there's like four more mods coming. Uh, yeah. And that, that includes like five IV employees. So it's, we're going to have like 12 <laughs> to 16 people at the IV booth or like after hours hangs. So, I mean, we'll just have to have multiple tables running. There's just yeah. no games that I really want to play that are at. That's 16. Yeah. yeah. Um, and two games of failed fate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I think we're gonna have plenty of like after hour spaces to hang out and play at. Yeah. Uh, and I would bl- bring a giant game, except one. I already promised you, Austin, that I would bring my tricked out copy of Lords of Hellas. I think. Yeah. It, um, I I haven't played, and it's like a classic. So. Is it a classic? It um, is. It's gotta be. We'll we'll talk about it at PAX. But I'm All also right. bringing like a roasting pan and a springform pan to make a cheesecake. So. Yes. My, my box, my suitcases are full. So, yep. We'll I'm, I'm so excited for the cheesecake. Oh my god! I'm just, bringing it's, it's just custard, man. It's fine. I'm bringing all the Mythic Mischief games, some Veiled Fate games. Uh, Moonraker's games are being shipped, so I don't have to bring any of those. But then I'm also bringing. I'm like going to visit family before, so I'm bringing my children and my wife and a trailer full of stuff for the booth. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a lot. Uh, but you know, you know, it'll be. It'll be fun. Uh, it'll be fun. As always, driving. I am, uh, I am pumped to play more Veiled Fate. Um, if anyone watching has not played Veiled Fate, join the server, play it. It's, I think, I think Veiled Fate might be in one person. of my. I mean, in person is better than anything on Earth. I think it's one of my favorite <laughs> games. Like, I really think Veiled Fate, um, not just a, not just a, you know, uh, I know you're here, Austin, and everything, but no, Veiled yeah. Fate is one of my favorite games I've ever played, and in person is a totally new um, experience. I will say, losing hurts worse in person, especially when it's your fault. <laughs> And it um, was my fault. It's fine. I have to. I still blame Dane. Dane tricked me, and I lost. And if I had, if I had not trusted Dane, I could have won that game. I believe um, stinking Kelzone. Think how I feel. Uh, true enough. At I least Dane's charismatic. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, anywho, oh, okay. well, uh, thank you everyone who uh, watched and is yeah, maybe yeah. still watching. Yeah, uh, thanks. We got eight I, people. I love how watching. physics just. Yeah, I'm tired. Take over, physics. <laughs> I, was out. I can't. I can't help it. I have natural charisma. You do. Uh, it's you true. Do. You do. Close yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks, everyone. Uh, look forward to more IV played in coming weeks. Um, uh, and have a great night. Yeah. Goodbye. Wag my eyebrows. Bye. Bye. <laughs>